speed things up here. I'm still catching up because I've been traveling for three days. I just got back home three hours ago, you know, so getting there. Huh. There we go, live. It's weird, I wasn't switching on the monitor. I got reverb. All sorts of stuff when you're gone for two whole weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Crazy time. <laughs> Shouldn't invite Curtis to come talk about Tower Guy. He's sick. Oh. I guess. Yeah, he look, yeah he I. Deep down. Yeah, uh, he's really. Yeah, a lot of them got flu. So. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? That's not funny. No, I just did yeah, the uh, Facebook post. One of the things I was just answering was about or posting that was was flu. Um. It's not COVID. Now, now, Alan Grove's got COVID, but he's coming on. He's a trooper. Well, that's um, because... No, I mean, it all depends on how bad it's hitting you, right? He's on Paxlovid and all that stuff. Yep. Um, yeah, Paxlovid turned my COVID last time to, like, just a, a, a mild cough. It was great. <laughs> I wish I could have had that. So, my what I'm laughing about is... I had flu pretty bad in in uh, February, and I was vaxxed. So in 2001, when we first my joke, my laughing was that you know I said I planned ahead. I got it. Yeah, I got it early. <laughs> what he was this I, I mean, I'm not so mad. Because uh, my designers, the whole the whole lot of us. Uh, my uh, our games, creating our adventures, my biggest stuff yeah, my biggest content, fear was that I was gonna get and sick was really no a weekend. To what yeah, oh, same here, same here, same here, hundred percent. That's I mean eleven. Uh, that's that that's the thing I looked at most was like that's a long stretch to be around so many people. Oh my God, yeah. Hey, Bones. That's what this Kickstarter is. Trevor, like Trevor X86. First, well, we're all tired. Oh, we're live? Is my mic hot? Uh, it's always hot. Where have you been in four years? Well, good. I'm glad I'm not saying anything stupid. Oh, my God. Than usual. Oh, it says watch now with 14 viewers. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? We almost got a hype train. Of course, Bones. Thank you. It's good to see you. Thanks for, for anyone fan. I'm going to get you at the end. You need Troy to Cannibal here. Troy's here. If we get a massive hype train tonight, I'm going to give out something real special that I have. But it's got to be like, I, I think we got to pass four. Join the hey, fray. Like, I'm going to push it to level four. We got to push it. Um, so now I'm going to hit, uh, here, here. Infinite Dimensions is on. So we're all ex exhausted, um, and uh, I am uh, mentally uh, gone, uh, you know, because I immediately traveled down to DC Baltimore where a ship knocked down a uh, bridge. You know, a bridge, too, so that was fun, and uh, yeah. So uh, I'm having a blast. There'll be man, it's, it, it, well, uh, you know, I, it's adding me on right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Jay. <laughs> work, work. That's funny. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one, Jay. Work, work. Um, 68 months. That's awesome. Whoa. I don't know what, what kind of madness we're going to have. If it's going to be good madness, bad madness. What's up, Kurt? What's going on there, darling? Space madness. Kurt, I need a new shout out for you, man. Will you Discord me like uh, everything for that, please? All right, please do that. 
Fuck, we're early too. Thanks, Snorker. Yeah, fun flight home, Curtis. Curtis, I had a six hour delay. That was not fun. Fun is not a word I use in the language when it comes to six hour flight delay. And then I got I got downgraded from first class down back to standard, but they gave me a three hundred dollar travel voucher. So sorry. Was, yeah. your, was your ego able to handle that, Jay? Yeah, it was able to handle did that. You, did you tell them? Don't you know how many games I ran yes. this weekend? Week. Week and a half. The answer is seven. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Three Wait, seminars. Where are you? It's just three seminars, three talk shows. I have eight streams, dude. Live, eight live streams there. Did you? Uh, did you stream the game in uh, the chop house? I yeah, but it, it it broke up, and I only got half of it. I only got the second oh, half. It's terrible. No. It's terrible so, reception. It, you couldn't do it, even with a, a hot spot. It didn't work. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. All right, noted. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sitting here with my piles of paper going through them. Uh, GM no-shows. I only have one piece of paper for that, but I know there's more. Well, I answered a really com complex post that a woman left... Um, uh, oh, thanks. 67 months. Yes! The big hitters are coming out because I've been gone for two weeks. So let me, uh, let me see if I can find it real quick here. Big hitter, the llama. <laughs> Robes. Grace. Striking. It was from Rachel Allen. Uh, Rachel Allen on Facebook. Talking about how they really got boned on multiple games. What to do about it. Hi, GMs at Gary Khan. Yeah. So, um... Rachel, uh, it's A E L and then A L L E N. So, yeah, I saw, I saw that one. That was. Uh, I tried to answer those, it as those, nicely those, as possible. Those posts break my heart, but yeah. uh, I mean, if some, if a GM doesn't show, I want to know about it because we keep a list. And uh, I don't know who Heather is, but it says Heather is entering the room. Oh, <laughs> 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 hi Heather. Hi Heather. <laughs> you look yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, six hours. Yeah. Six hours, I'll tell you the story. So keep that hype train going. We'll give a level four. I'm giving away something really special tonight instead of just stinking reprints. Are you going to give away an experience? Uh, yes, yes, I am going to give away the experience. So tonight with me, special guest, legendary Alan Groey and Anna Meyer. Oh, what happened? What? Hello? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is, is, is filling in for the full two hours for Anna tonight. Everyone give him a hand. So, yes. Yay. Yes. Also joining us at some point, uh, William Henry Dvorak. And uh, the uh, as he calls himself the Great Unwashed, I did not go to Gary Khan, so I want to sit in on it. It's the ever mysterious Tim will join us at some point uh, to annoy us all or harass us all. But, you know, that's Tim for you. So, um <laughs> We are here. We are mentally. I'm still gone, man. I'm still gone. I won't. I won't talk about. Uh, oh, by the way, Curtis, representing. So I gotta tell this story too. It's a funny story. Well, I don't know if it's funny or not. It's disturbing, actually. So I'll tell that one real quick, if you guys don't mind, while I remember it. I can't find Tim's head. How's that possible? Where the hell is Tim's freaking head? Oh my God, I have too many emotes. I don't understand what you're saying. There we go. I found his head. I found it. There. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, it's disturbing a bit. So now I know why Curtis, the good friend that he is, Curtis, gave me this shirt. It says FBI San Francisco on it with the logo. So, I guess, I, I swear to God, uh, what is it called? When you're, uh, the, the security people, right? They didn't even, they didn't even like me, didn't like scan me or anything. They just said, go in, right? I swear to God, I went, I went right in first. I get in there, people are actually like, I'm walking with a shirt around in the airport. And they're just looking at me and some of them were, people are moving away. I had a little kid say, do you work for the FBI? And I said, I can't tell you, kid. So, I mean, it's just freaking crazy. So, Curtis, thanks. I mean, the, the shirt got me some uh, perks, I guess, even though I had a six hour freaking delay at the airport, but it was fun wearing the FBI shirt. So, uh. Alan, yeah, held a messenger for a reason. 
No, I'm it's kidding. I'm kidding. Curtis. I'm not kidding, it, Curtis. I got I got bad respect wearing this. It was really freaking hysterical. Stolen. Hey, Curtis gave it to me, and so, so that, I'm kidding. So wear was it. that was that was that a first? Are you going to wear that thing all the time now? Is at, at airport at, at the airport I go to absolutely. Okay, oh, yeah. I meant getting respect. <laughs> That's. I said I walked Real right into that brutal. one, didn't I? Yeah. I walked right into that one. So we got we got uh, we got Josh Pop and we got the great Alan Groey. Alan, I know you got COVID. Is your game still on? Or are you? Or is your game off? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, playing in a Delta Green game. It's uh, seven thirty my time, eight thirty your time. Okay, so we got you like an hour, hour fifteen. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. I got a picture of you floating around. Uh, so everyone knows I did a top ten of my personal pictures. And then I added a whole bunch after that, and I also added four publications that we're going to we, hopefully we'll talk about quickly at some point tonight. We'll get in. Yeah, and Alan, Alan's kind of have to come on. So, uh, well, so let's, Josh, let's start with Alan since he's our, our guest here. Um, we all love Alan. Why wouldn't we? Uh, well, yeah, absolutely. Let's start with him. So, Alan was awesome. Really, we were there for Gary Con. I mean, uh, Josh represents Gary Con, the best of all of us here. <laughs> well, let's not, let's not get carried away, Alan. No, no, it's it's it's, <laughs> it's it's a it's like a it's like a family thing, right? You know, it's like you got the GMs who are running the games, because without them, they wouldn't be doing anything. You got you doing that, and uh, man in a booth in the vendor hall. Uh, how did how did things go down there this year? Yeah, that was great. Um, traffic was uh, very high in the forum. Um, and I'm sure some of that's, you know, just from the increased uh, attendance for the, you know, for the anniversary. Um, well, we, we cut we cut spectator badges to boost silvers. So I, I have no cut problem day with that. badges to, to boost silvers. So, I mean, overall numbers, I don't know if they're that different, uh, but the uh, but, we you know, we, there was a more of a focus on players and GMs attending uh than anything else and letting people come for the full four days uh instead of breaking things up um i mean we wish we had more space uh, if, if i win the lot of powerball tonight uh i'll, I'll add in some more space to the grand to uh allow for that yeah yeah that makes sense so you I'll... also ran you also ran games though too didn't you Oh, yeah. yeah, tell yeah. us about the one game with the, the all-star cast you had. So on uh, Saturday night uh, at GaryCon, I ran uh, a, uh, an event with um, uh, Joe Manginello and Tom Morello. Vince Spawn. Vince Spawn and uh, uh, the, the big show was there, too. Oh, my gosh. And, yeah, and then um, Dan, was Dan Weiss at that one too? Dan was at that one as well, um, and uh, and then also uh, we had um, uh, Aaron Clark, who's a, a gamer out of SoCal, um, and uh, John Chambers was a uh, another uh, another player. He's the uh, I forget if he's the great grandson or excuse me, not John Chambers, John Roberts. Um, uh, Great grandson or grandson of uh, uh, Charles S. Roberts, founder of Avalon Hill. Uh, uh, didn't the Roberts family sponsor the GM Lounge again this year? I think they are in some GM rewards. I think they did. That sounds that, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, super cool. Yeah. Yeah. So it was fun. Uh, you know, they, they ran around uh, the uh, South Seas below uh, the Ullman Islands in, uh, in Greyhawk and uh, had 12th to 17th level first edition characters. And what level? 12th to 17th. Wow. And, uh, and, uh, and they accomplished their mission. So, you know, they were, they were, hex crawling to try to uh, find their way to a uh, exits optional lair, which I will uh, actually run as part two at the North Texas convention in June where the actual invasion of the lair itself. Hmm. So, so I ran that one twice. I ran three castle Greyhawk levels at founders and legends helped Paul run his tourney. Uh, and then I got to play games at founders and legends too, which was awesome. So what'd you play? 
you get any see get in any Tara Gygax that uh, our pals Curtis and Brett put I, together? I, I, I did not, unfortunately. Although I did get to observe a couple games uh, in passing, but uh, I played uh, I played some Titan. Uh, speaking of Avalon Hill, for the did first you play that time, with Peter. Uh, I. I don't think it was Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck um, you yeah. So I, I played that for the first time since I was like 12 and I played divine right for the very first time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then I played a bunch of Tom Wom games on, uh, on stream, yeah. Crash. Yeah. stream may crash on this mic change. Stream may crash. Uh oh. Can you hear me? Can you? Okay. Good. All right. What do you point at, Josh? Some, some fun Tom Wom up there. I love yeah, Tom. It's a bunch of Tom Wom. I love there. Divine Right, oh, yeah. man. Alan, that's great. I love that game. That game's awesome because it's got like that Lord of the Rings feel to it, but it's in a neutral world. So, really cool. Yeah, it was so, a lot of fun. Uh, I think my uh, I think my son Henry will really enjoy that one. So I think that's one we're going to break out in the house now that I know how to play. Yeah. <laughs> And there's all different scenarios too. That's which is a great thing. And what uh, time so, WOM games did you play in? Uh, I played uh, Battling Spaceships yeah. and Philithian Finance, and we played one other that I was trying to remember did, earlier. Did, did this? Did did a card come out that made you sad? Um, in Battling Spaceships? No, Philithian Finance. It's uh, Jim Ward wins. It's just oh, the card that, that says one did Jim not Ward. come out. No. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Jim yeah, Ward so. wins. That's funny. It's a card. I might, I might have my Tom Wom games mixed up though. There's a, I think it's Felithian. Oh, no, it might be Felithian Factories. Yeah, I think he helped with both, maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, now I'm making me sad. So everyone, sit tight tonight. Four new publications we're going to share. Actually, five. Because I'm going to share my own. But uh. So, Thanks, Cat. Yeah, you, she said. Oh, Kat said Kat. that it was. Cat said it was Felicia and Factories. Oh, Cat's on. Cat. Oh. Yeah. Thank, can, thanks Kat's for. Thanks for just Facebook friending me today. Appreciate it. So cool. So everyone, you can all applaud because uh, I think Bill the Mister Crafter is going to go to Gary Con next year. There yes. you go. So there you go. I mean, about time. Yeah, that's awesome. Now you're my friend, sucker. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. But yeah, it's good to see the Bills. Yes, it's about time. If I have Jeremy and him there, it's like I got the I got the uh, cornered market on the best three D print uh, printer and crafter people you know anywhere. So it's awesome. Yep. So uh, how did sales go? Don't 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 tell don't tell uh, you know the dwarven not that. Who? Uh, Stefan. Come on, man. Stefan's c cool stuff, but it doesn't. It's a different, different realm. Oh, okay. That and 3D right. printing are two different things, man. Okay. Right, Bill? Of course. So, uh, Alan, uh, how were sales? Were sales brisk? Sales were good. Yeah, it was uh, on Thursday. It was kind of like uh, the old days of opening the hall at Gen Con. Uh, first couple hours were kind of a solid wall of customers, which was a wonderful problem to have. <laughs> it's always a good problem to have, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, like, some of the really fun stuff that was new and, uh, you know, kind of really hot in the booth included Shadow Dark. Um, oh, wow. And the, and the zines for that. Uh, Nave, second edition. Uh, second edition for the Dark of Hot Springs Island uh, from Jacob Hurst. Uh, new Empire of the Petal Throne maps uh, from the Tecumel Foundation. Wow. Yeah. Uh, everything that uh, Gabor Lux or uh, Anthony Husso wrote, almost, we sold out of almost everything for all of that. Nice. Uh, Secrets of Blackmore was very hot, along with the Lost Dungeons of Tanisborg. Uh, so lots of great and that, stuff. That's, and then, the, you know. do you, do you got do you play that Tanisborg in in Greyhawk or is that like Blackmore only? Uh, you can set it anywhere just like you know you could take castle blackmore and drop it into another campaign or castle greyhawk for that matter well isn't yeah. there a tonisberg in on the greyhawk map yes 
but I think it's Living Greyhawk Edition. Oh. I think that's what it is. Where does that one on that one? Where does yeah. that one adventure start where like some ice goblins or something attack and then you gotta go back and then at the end there's like a Luke Gygax is on. Uh-oh. Luke. <laughs> awesome. We, we have Anna Meyer who's changed form into Josh Pop. Okay, I'm, I'm tempted. <laughs> uh, just I'm note tempting. that Anna's very sick. A lot of people, Curtis, Anna, but Coco, a lot of people got the flu. Uh, Alan Crowley has, has COVID, but is here hanging for a bit. Uh, it's Raiders of the Black Ice. Absolutely. Cat Troy is correct. 100% is Raiders of the Black Ice. Thanks, Troy. Troy, one of, you know, Troy knows his stuff, man. So, uh, well, Luke, it's good to see you. Thank you. Uh, Miriam got sick, too. Oh, man, I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, someone else created a PDF composition and he uses a blog post on ADD. Oh, that's awesome. I got to have him on. So if anyone knows a connection, I can't believe I missed Tim, uh, Brown, Timothy Brown. He was there, right? Was he there? Was Brown in there at, at Gary Con? If, if I, if, I don't know how. I look, every year I get sick at Gary Con. Every year. This year I just lost my voice, which is good because, you know. <laughs> Everyone wanted me to shut the hell up anyway, so you didn't see him. Okay, Luke. Uh, but uh, Hugh, uh, so I got to have on the show. Where do you see what we got lined up just the next two weeks? I mean, I've been busy. There was someone that I gamed with virtually over several and during the during the COVID years that apparently was there, and oh. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> we totally didn't see each other. I guess it's not that big of a place, but you still, it's easy. Yeah, to I missed somebody. a couple of people. I thought, like, I saw Stephen Randy, Randy McFarland like one time, I think, once or twice. I wouldn't have loved to have run into him multiple times. But, like, a lot of, like, man, like, uh, I went to lunch with Eric Mona one day. We just hung out and we talked. Yeah. We talked stuff. That uh, was awesome. Uh, I saw Eric for like 12 seconds yeah. on at the booth and on Wednesday at yeah. your pregame show. That was it. I got Eric to help me clean up uh, uh, Galewood A. What? Uh, it was, you know, it was last game of the night, and I'm like, he's like packing up. I'm like, hey, you thinking lend a hand? I'm just picking up. Stuff How late was over. it? I don't know. It was late. So, so was last game of the night. L- l- let me talk to all you crazies out there who are up to four o'clock in the morning Saturday morning, right? Yeah. Like the guy right awesome. below me with the tongue out, right? And he goes, it was the best night of my life. I sat there for two hours and just <laughs> talked to Ed Greenwood. It's it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and Ed's there. And I, he fell asleep during my game Saturday morning. And he probably not going to get sleep the rest of the day. How the hell did he do it? I was so I was wiped by then. I was gone. I was so exhausted at that point. So, And, and Luke, uh, thanks. Uh, Bukra Facebook friended me today and I, yesterday, and I really appreciated that. So thank you. So whatever I can do for you is, you know, the whole community here, Luke, is here. And we're, we'll do whatever you, whatever you know, you want us to do. We're we're here for you, and that's that's a great thing. This community's getting tighter and tighter. Uh, it, it it blows my mind. All right, I'm not getting, I'm not getting, I'm not going to start tearing up like I did Sunday morning, where I had Josh consoling me on that Sunday morning. Right? <laughs> my God. <laughs> I saved your tears in a little bottle. Luke, uh, I told her not to, but she has a <laughs> thanks, Luke. All right. Funny story number two with with busting my balls, all right? So we're playing and I've told this story a couple times. We're playing the game with uh we're playing Thursday and Todd my good friend Todd Stashwick's playing in the game, right? I, I said that because that's where the joke went. And uh we're on a break and he comes back and, and Cur- Curtis, Curtis and Brett are at the table. And they can't help themselves. Uh, so they go, uh, they say, uh, hey, our good friend Todd Stashwick's back. And he, Todd's standing up, everyone's sitting down. He looks like, what the hell is all this good friend? T- what does that mean, the good friend Todd Stashwick? And then Curtis goes, we're just busting Jay's stones on it. And he goes, oh, well, if you're busting Jay, then it's, uh, keep it, keep at it. It's hysterical. <laughs> so, yeah, so there you go. Todd approved of uh, everyone breaking my balls. So, uh, yeah, very good. But it was fun. It was such a great time. Um, you know, but still, like I went right from here down to D.C. Baltimore. I got back at one o'clock, and then I was right down to D.C. Baltimore. Literally, I was like five miles from the from where that that bridge went out a couple times. Thank God uh, the traffic was not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a nightmare, but I was down there. Uh, I just got back three like three hours ago, so keeping things rolling. For those of you who missed them, Jay had a bunch of Twitch streams with Gary. Kind of, one of thank you. So I did eight live streams there somehow. One of them sucks. It was the Ed game because it was in the, it was in the 
underneath the, the chop house, and, and we couldn't even we, we could not get a good even uh, what do you call it uh, hotspot signal. So we got half of it. Half of it's decent, but uh, all the others are really good. Are, 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 are really no no drop no nothing dropped at all except for that one time. So yeah, that's great. Yeah, I started to watch the the Greyhawk seminar one. Uh, cool. And uh, and and then got distracted by my COVID results, so I have to go back and finish that. <laughs> Right, I'm really sorry. Here's to a that. speedy recovery, Alan. Oh, it's okay. the, I, I'm, I'm asymptomatic so far, so you know that that's great. Yeah, we tested the kids; they're they're negative. That's good to hear. Yeah, good to hear. Yeah, I tested a negative on Monday, uh, and then when I saw some other folks posting, I said, "Well, maybe t I'll test a little earlier today." So, yeah, again, that was you, my biggest. That was my biggest. That was what's that? Were you positive? When were you positive, Alan? This morning, I oh, was negative on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Lee, Lee, you were the first. You and Duff were the first two sick that I noticed. So I did everything I could to stay away from you guys. Well, that's hard to do because Duff's, you know, Duff's around everywhere. So, yeah. You know. But uh, thank, thanks, Mike Saxton. Appreciate it. So, but Duff was. Uh, you two were, were the first two I noticed that were sick, and then it just flew, fled through through everyone. Didn't say your prayers to Encabalus. Yeah, absolutely. No yeah. prayers. So, um. Let's do some highlights here. All right, well, let's prelude what we're going to show, too. How's that? All right. So, these were all shown at the Gary Khan Greyhawk um, uh, seminar with myself, Anna, and Mike. And that, that, that picture's scrolling through. So, first, new episode, new, new Grey Grimoire, spring of 2024. <laughs> what is that picture of <laughs> Oh, that's Curtis acting. That's that's Fritz Winchester. Acting <laughs> Fritz, Fritz Winchester would be sexy or something. I don't know. I was going to suggest Madonna. Yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> that is definitely a Madonna pose. Nice work, Curtis. Yeah. So, uh, Greg, Greg Grim, here, let me do this. Let me make this easier. I didn't know we had print copies of the uh, Greg Grim work. Oh, awesome. ha! Now you do. Who yeah. sent them? What? They were for, what? I, I sent them. I got the Lee brought them all with him. And we gave That's fabulous. Yeah, so all right. Grey Grimoire, okay. One. Um Troy's Ocean Bounty. Let me blow, blow this up a little bit. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Troy's Ocean Bounty. Very nice. Now the good they're great. But now the stuff from Legends. Right? And this is what I want to talk to you about, Alan, too. Oh, crap. I shut that off. Am I stupid or what? Space aliens. Yes. What the hey, heck? You button, dumb, call me a dumbass. Call, call me a freaking dumbass, my guy. Wrong button, everyone. Me, everyone. My yeah. gosh, you dummy. It's called shutting off just the that tab. Well, I wanted to leave all the tabs up, get another tab, but I shut them off. Okay. So what he's trying to show are these things right here. Yeah, here we go. I got it. I got it, man. I oh, it. okay. All a right. minor threat from Len Lakofka, L.A. LA number three, right? All right. Uh, so about the community. Uh, and, uh, Lee and, and Troy and all them who, who got this done uh, also had uh, a pack of them put into the charity auction. This year's charity auction was to benefit Children's Wisconsin. Beautiful. Uh, went for 200 bucks for the That's four great. of them. Fan great. It's fantastic. Yeah. And to toot my own horn, 300 copies of this was given out. I, I kept showing up here, but I got it in my hand. I, I think, didn't get a copy. Well, I got. You didn't ask me. Three hundred copies of the free city galaxy mirror ask. sneak peek, and that, this thing is beautiful. So, I got a few extras of that one uh, that I'll take down to Texas. So, if you want me to set one aside for you, Josh, uh, I can do that. I don't know if I'm going to make it to Texas this year. Oh, uh, I think okay. next year might be my dream year. Uh, hey, boss, uh, thanks the, a lot. The eleven plus day marathon. That was. Great. Uh, yeah, and then uh, and then England I, in the beginning of the year. And raise your hand stuff. in chat. Say yes or Josh and I raise your who who got serious repercussions from our our better halves from this two weekends. My wife came. She had a blast. Okay, she got the she got involved with stuff, and uh, I understand that more so this year than ever. So yeah, I took That's it. That's awesome. She had so it's only fun. me. I'm the only one that took. All right. Well, that that makes me feel even better now. Great. 
wonderful. Hey, Les. Now, he Heather wasn't happy I got sick, but, you know, you can't do anything about that. No, hey, Les. Good to see you, Les. So, um, we'll show them soon. We'll go through them. I, I especially want to go through the Great Grimoire, right? That's the one because it's the newest uh, publication. But, he Alan, here's our mission. Ed Greenwood, I think it was on a live stream, remembers it's either Gen between Gen Con 13 and Gen Con 17. Len Lakofka ran a special secret level of Exhibition to Barrier Peaks that no one knows, seems to know anything about. So we need to locate that for the next project. So that's Len our... said that, yeah, Len said the title was, I no, think, no. Beneath? Beneath the Barrier Peaks? No, no, Len didn't say that. Ed said that. Uh, I'm sorry. That's, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah. You, you should have more photo friendly at home, man. If you're that hot and sexy there, Curtis, you should. So, I don't know, 10 times more hot and sexy just wearing a shirt, Curtis. So, thank you. And what yeah. were the years for that again? Uh, we think it's between Gen Con 13 and 17 13. that he ran it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ed was there, so he remembers it. So, we're looking mm. for we're looking for one that, that, you know, and that... Whew. And Andrew Scott Perry was at the table when he when when Ed was talking about it. Yes, it was funny. Uh, Andrew's like, "What? What? What?" Yes, his head turned. <laughs> his, his head turned. So because you know Andrew's got uh, you know some some serious uh, stronghold beyond the barrier peaks. Uh, Your pick scrolling. Right there. Your pick with me and you is coming. So. He's awesome. well, I'll do a little uh, research and see what else we can. Uh, yeah, I think that it. that would be awesome because, like, this one would be a shocker because number one, Gary Holden will hate it, which is, makes it funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then uh, also uh, having having uh, just a uh, that's perfect. And uh, so I got to sit down with Andrew Scott Perry for two hours the one night, and we're just we were just you know I got him I got him on the one show, uh, but I got him and we're just sitting there and. Uh, Anna was there too, I believe. Man, everything's a blur. And he told me some stuff about that. He says yes, he believes that officially some that the expedition of Barrier Peaks is a landing pod off Starship Warden. That's official. That he remembers that it was a landing pod that came off of Starship Warden. So, Alan, I know you're looking like, hmm, hmm. yeah. I'm not going to argue with him. Right <laughs> about it because you know, but uh, that was like wow, that was news. So and he shared a lot of other great tidbits back in those days and Eric because he was really reminiscent about Jim, you know, a lot. Uh, and uh, at that time, because I think we'd only known about it for a day or two at that point, a Jim passing. So it was uh, it was really great for him of him for him to do that. I think we were we were all we were all doing a bit. We're of We're all that. shocked, you know, uh, when yeah, we yeah. heard that. I mean, it was it was it was rough. It, I mean, it, we were already there. Uh, and also including, you know, Janelle Jacques, and then that happened. Uh, yeah, that was... So, so Luke kind of yeah. verifies that right now in chat. That tracks. It is tied to discussions between my dad and Jim. So, oh, nice, nice. Yeah, Goodman did a, um, That's a special awesome. edition uh, supporting Janelle's family uh, for this version that of the That is fantastic. And uh, it, it, it's a... Ten dollars more expensive than the regular one, but all proceeds are going to to Becky and family. That's fantastic. Is it still available? Yeah. Uh, I believe it is. Yeah. Tim, Lee was it? able, and Lee was able to get to to Becky because we we talked to her about you know carrying on like Len's legacy and how that you know made uh, Len's partner happy, right? And uh, and so we were able to show her what we were doing for that, and she liked that because she's going to be carrying on. Janelle's legacy and getting uh, right. central casting out the door. It's, you know, the community steps up whenever you ask them. That's why I love, I mean, that's why yeah, I, I love community, about, man. I love about, <laughs> about Gary Khan. Everyone there is freaking cool, right? You walk around, there's another cool person right. walking around the corner. Think about that. Except for you and me, Josh, we're not cool. We're not cool. No. Oh. Just ask ask your kid. He'll tell you. <laughs> mine, mine, mine will too. So, I'll announce it here. My special guest with me next year will be probably my son. As long as I can get it worked out with school. He'll be 14. I think it's time. 
as long as the whole school arrangement thing works out. And he does, cause he's in this new special, uh, you know, he starts as a freshman in high school at a special school for uh, computers at, at GCIT in, in South Jersey. As long as I can get all that to work out, I'm going to bring him next year. So, yep. That's awesome. Where did he get where did he get that gene from? Not from you. <laughs> I used to have a high IQ there, Josh. It drops every year. It's probably like thirty five now. Because you keep so, talking to me, that's why. Well, it's you know, keep down. <laughs> probably, probably a little bit. So, so really keeps me humble. We, uh, yeah. So, um, that I'm ho- very hopeful that 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 comes together. I love to have him there and experience it. That'll keep me out of trouble too. Would, yeah, would that be his Gary first Cowan. Con? Oops, sorry, Jeff. Go, oh, go ahead. That's go a good Alan. question. Yeah, would would that be his first con? No, I I've taken a Pax Unplug multiple times. Okay. Yeah. And I may but take him, his... I, I may take him to Page this year, since uh, by God, they're going crazy of honor guests at Page. So Adam, and myself, uh, and a whole slew of people. Um, knock, knock, knock. We're working on it to, for Page uh, next January. I mean, we had 1,200 people at that one, but another another time for that discussion. We'll have Ron Meissner on sometime in the next couple months. So, how young is too young for Gary? That's a good question. Everyone says to me 14, you know, is, is sufficient. I know uh, Josh's son Max and all of Luke's children are there, so he'll have someone to hang out with. Max is like the same age as him, so uh, it, you know, if he gets bored, so yeah. Max played in a lot of games this year, and uh, cool, cool Matt, Alex. Matt Everhart's kid wound up. Uh, sitting in with him on one or two of them as well, just joining them. Yeah, I think um, I know that uh, the, the G girls uh, went and had a, a like a Gygax girls game or something like that. Gygax girls, the Triple G, uh, and that that was probably really cool. Did I don't know if that got recorded or streamed or anything, or if it was just a game. Um, I'm so glad yeah. I streamed everything I did that I could. I didn't stream Thursday. Just didn't. I I, I was, Father's Lines just wanted to play, right? Yeah. I didn't stream the slate. I didn't stream uh, puppets and then some, which I'm ashamed. I it's a shame I didn't. But it's up in Evergreen too. I can't stream up there. You know. Yeah, and, it's too know, noisy. Yeah, it's too it's noisy. noisy. So, uh, but I streamed yeah. the Slav game and then the egg game kind of wonked out because of where we were. But um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, but Which no. is funny that, I mean, there is a WAP uh, wireless access point in, like, probably 15 feet from you. It's just, yeah, uh, I think I had to trade something to get it working in <laughs> in the Chop House BDR for Thursday that uh, I didn't get to work uh, for the other WAP that's out there in the, uh, in the main dining area. Look, let oh. me address that right now. For all of you who went both weekends, thank you for the follow. Um, for all of you who went both weekends, it was wonderful. It was epic. It was something I'll cherish forever. But I'm never doing it again. <laughs> I am so... I'm still feeling it. All uh, Gary Cons from now on will feel short and easy. Yes. Because we did, uh, you know, a lot Me of either. Okay, there. look, uh, I, I, lo- I love to hear that because um, come on, not sounding ostentatious or whatever, but I went all out for this. I did I did seven, seven times, scheduled for six, did the one on Tuesday. I'm like, I get to rest. And then, uh, you know, Josh is like, hey, man, you know, um, I'm like, no problem. No problem. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure something out. I got miniatures. AJ, hey, well, yeah, see, I, I got, got miniatures. him. I got him. I, I got, got two miniatures. I think you were. I think you'd maybe had just a drink or two, and I could tell that you were susceptible <laughs> to suggestions. Was it Wednesday night? Yeah. Uh, no, no, because it was. It was ahead of the Tuesday game. Oh, right? that's right. It that's must right. have been Monday. Monday night. night. Monday night. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, that's it. We're playing the board game. We're playing. I think we're playing the board game that night. Oh, Keith Baker's board game? Keith Baker's game? board game, I think it was Alyssa Teague. I, I think so. I think it was that night. Yeah, yeah. And and I said, you know, I'm like, ooh, I bet I could get him to run one too. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for, for throwing in and helping out. That was that was cool. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Alan, you know, you're working, what, like eight hours down at the booth. Oh, and, then you're run- and then you're running right afterwards. That's some marathon break stuff. Most nights, most nights I had a couple hour break in there to get a little downtime, close close up the booth. I liked it. It closed. The, I liked it. The vendor hall closed at five. That was good. It, it, 
It was helpful for sure. It was helpful, definitely. definitely a lot of people complained, but I, I think that was good. So, hey, class, good to see. You. I think that was a real good thing. And I, I forgot, I, I did get to play on Tuesday a game uh, with Paul Sternberg over at the museum, which was a great, oh, uh, fun time, too. That's fantastic. And the museum's really awesome. They had some really, really nice exhibits, uh, historical exhibits in general, in addition to the, you know, D&D and Gary specific exhibits. Very cool. So, was that on Tuesday or Wednesday? Uh, it was definitely Tuesday because uh, Wednesday I was setting the booth up. Okay. So, yeah, you got to hang around uh, and do all that. That's cool. Yeah. That is. Did you get any pictures of that? Uh, I got a few. I put them up in my album on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Luke right. says there was like I know Dave DM Dave was one of the your cameramen. Dave from Guilt Superior, right? Josh was he an official cameraman? Uh yeah, he was. It was yeah. So Luke, I'm just saying, Luke. There were Luke says there were multiple camera people out there, so I know Dave was one of them, taking a lot of pictures. So there's probably a lot more. So once again, everyone, I got my top 10 pictures of my personal favorites, but then I got a whole bunch afterwards. I, I think I have like 120 to 140 pictures. So I just got to tell, you know, just want them all scrolling through every 20 seconds because uh, I'll, I'll treasure this. I'll treasure this moment, you know, and everything um, for, for a long, long time. Uh, absolutely. So Dave, Dirk, Renee, and Lewis. Cool. Very, very Camera cool. people. Uh, yeah. Lewis Troutman uh, and yeah. his assistant, Renee, uh, were – uh, I think at a lot of the, you know, the what's happening at Gary Khan events, especially, and, and some others as well. Uh, they did a really uh, good job of covering their bases this year. Yeah, I definitely saw some folks uh, taking pictures in the dealer hall in addition to wandering around the con. So, um, Josh. Yeah. Do I even go here? Why not? <laughs> we're not going to we're not going to talk about the length. OK. What went wrong? Uh, <laughs> sorry, nothing. Full. I did everything. I know every Luke's one on. of our every yeah with Luke here. Uh, that's good. Um, Open I think, yeah. you know, I, I I think the biggest uh, oh, concern oh, for me was going to be, uh, you know, was everyone going to stay healthy for eleven days? Yeah, that was my biggest worry. Yeah, I didn't absolutely. Want, I didn't even say it out loud until. Because you know, losing uh, losing a staff member to like uh, you know flu or COVID or whatever kind of crud flavor you want to describe yeah. uh, would be uh, it would be a big loss because we're already spread pretty thin. And um, I would Fair say sleep. that I would say that yeah, and and some folks did fall to stuff and still just kept working, likely. <laughs> Uh, cause you know, he was a champ, uh, and you know, we, we, uh, we, we needed everybody. Um, we got some new volunteers coming in, some new staff standing up and, and, and there's a lot of optimism around that where, uh, cause you know, we're all building back from COVID all the conventions everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they could all, they could all use, they could all use help. Like one, 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 uh, like. Uh, high-end volunteer who just kept showing up uh, kit uh, was just like uh, there's a funny kit cat gene picture by the way if you hadn't seen it with kit cat and gene mornard um who was just like you know how do i get on staff and we're like you want to get on staff <laughs> uh and then like stabinsk uh antiquitous uh alex um was like you know really there for us in a big way um i, and, and I got a quick great. alex story Oh, yeah. First of all, Alex did justice. Alex, I know you're on. Did justice to Eric Boyd's character, Telegord Stunkenord, the half ogre priest of Heronius. He, I mean, Which he game put, is this? And this is Ed's game. He's part of two drink minimum, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so in Ed's game, and he died. He put, got put down the negatives like usual. He didn't die, but but he played him well. And uh, you know, we there they fought a troller games published monster, the Greenwood Dragon. Right, which they put in their book, uh, and I'm like, hey, I'm using this right on Ed. So, Ed came up with a way to get rid of it. So that was that was pretty good too. 
Lots of key facility failure. People trying to come in without. That's a big one, Luke. Number number three, I think, was uh, uh, one. I know Josh was uh, sniffing around a little bit um, there on stuff. But infinite campaign, you got to get to Gary Khan. Absolutely, it's awesome. So, but um, I know Troller Games went down with a lot of people. So um, uh, a lot of people theirs are down. I don't know if they had to cancel a couple of games because of it, but a couple of their key key people who were going to run games were sick right in the middle of it. Oh, so finish the Alex story. Alex is sitting down at the far end of the hall near all the boardrooms, right? He's down there like volunteering. Like it's like six. Like, I get up early. I got up, I got up at five forty five every morning. What what the hell am I thinking? Because I got up on the train and I'm like Alex. Um, he uh, he's just there. He's down there following. I'm like, what are you doing down here at this time in the morning? He's like, I couldn't sleep. I'm volunteering down here. I said, well, you're not volunteering anymore. <laughs> so I, I had to walk all the way back to building one with me, pick up all my train and bring it in because it was like a major, major hall. It was for the Slav game. So, and he was kind enough to help me out that day. And I really appreciate it. And I've known, you know, Alex lives right near, you know, near me and has helped me out at PAX Unplugged and, uh, and Paige and everything. So Alex is a good, real good guy. Thank you for all your assistance. Um, at, uh, yeah, the volunteers there. were great throughout. They the were conference. absolutely, and, absolutely. Um, I got some wonderful help um, from uh, Jeff and Mark and a couple other folks uh, while I was tearing the booth down on uh, on Sunday. So they actually they actually oh, they did? All my stuff fantastic. in the van for me while I was finishing up the booth tear down. So it was great. Very, very cool. Very appreciated. Pure adrenaline, but look, everyone needs it. Everyone should get a kudos for what the great, job, the great work that they all did. I mean, it was I. I I'm when I say what, what went wrong, I'm kind of being facetious because I thought it was awesome. Um, like I didn't. I aside from, and I don't know about this because, but I seen posts on Facebook, especially the one I shared of trying to eliminate the dropping of DMs, dropping games, not telling anyone, and players dropping. I think that is neat. Needs, I think the communication needs to open up. Use TTE. Drop your game in the system so someone can pick up the seat, right? Instead of just not showing up. And, uh, yeah, I think that, that that's something. Well, but what can we do different? Like, so we sent out the yeah. week ahead of time, days ahead of time, I should say, a yeah. uh, reminder how to drop tickets, and how to cancel games, right? I mean, if people don't read their email, they don't read their email. What right. else can we do? Well, I would put it in the. I, I would put it somewhere clearly on, on certain walls around the maybe, uh, around the HQ. Uh, yes, uh, any or maybe uh, even in your ticket pack. Yeah, in the ticket pack. That's a good a, idea. A, a, yeah. a one sheet I, flyer, kind of, or a half sheet, just saying, you know, if you got to drop a game or some schedule change. Here's how to do it in TTE. It's quick. It's easy. Yeah, and it gives other people yeah. who are on the wait list a chance to play. Yeah, yeah we had one person just send an email to their people saying, I'm canceling this game, but not cancel it. A bunch of people then dropped the game, and then a bunch of people signed up for the with the open spot. Because you never canceled it. And they never canceled it. And yeah. that, was, that was heartbreaking. Uh, so cancel your games if you're canceling. Truly canceled. And... Uh, and yeah, maybe we can try and make it easier with some signs like, like GM need to drop, you need to cancel a game, and maybe like I don't know, a QR code or something. I don't know how we do that yet, yeah. or something and in the, the GM's lounge, maybe. Oh yeah, you know, do do it at the computer in there. Boom. Yeah, I never went in the GM's lounge once, once, <laughs> not one time. <laughs> no QR codes. I agree, Joe. No QRs. I confirmed she was carrying cheese. No, cream. no. Yeah. QR codes are fine. Um, a lot of people like them. Uh, yeah, but if you're not, if you don't like them, then, well, let's think about what also we can do. Uh, there's like a very fast QR code to get to your events, for instance. So you can cancel your tickets. I mean, that's just, that's just sure pure speed. Um, but if you're a GM, or you're a player and that's a struggle for you, then what, you know, what else can we do? Uh, would yeah. be the question. Yeah. So what would be the next best thing? Cause we can, with a QR code, get you exactly to the screen you need to be on to interact with TTE. I, I just, I just think commu the communication channel open and, and like the people, this could sound awful. The people who are responsible hammer down to those that aren't. 
because I think it sucks. I saw she had said her whole family signed up for a game, kids included, and it never went off. And the kids were all disappointed. That made me feel really. That made me feel sad. You know, we had yeah, we had twenty four hundred events. I'm tracking about yeah. seven, uh, either GM no shows or goofed up cancellations. Seven? Yeah, that's not bad. It's well, phenomenal. and we tell people to talk about it too. I yes. mean, we want yeah. we want to hear about every one of those seven so that we make sure that you know I get the event number and whatever written right, down. Right and tracked and dealt with one weird thing that really happened was we had two events scheduled to the same table and you can't do that with our system so i don't know i have a follow-up with tte how the heck that happened wow it was on it was on thursday which you know i'm looking at the grid and it's just you know a wall of events Ah. like there's there's no gap i have nowhere to put them and uh i saw bash just standing there and i'm like i need you to throw your body on the first and then tell me where you're at on the first uh, open gaming table you find. Okay. Great this is save. A, this is a, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And around. then we got him into a maple lawn uh, hallway there. That's good. Yeah, because there's always open tables there. A round table between the three of us, uh, uh, it's kind of a joke question for me. What were you most surprised at uh, for this one? It's something that really surprised you. Uh, do you want me to go first? Sure. I thought this was yeah. more for Alan. But no, for yeah. all three of you. All oh. three of us. My surprise. Balfin's wife is real. <laughs> yeah. That okay. was funny. I made I made you laugh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not just another cat. <laughs> Although he may have just turned a cat into a bird. Yeah, he may have cast a spell. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Polymorph. Uh, yeah. What did you think of the new layout down there, Alan? Because we tried a new layout on the in the exhibitor hall, which instead of you walking into a wall the second you walk in there, it now walk is kind of... long rows. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that helped a lot with traffic flow. So that was actually surprising. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as well surprise. i don't know if it was the biggest surprise but <laughs> there's your surprise <laughs> yeah but um but i think i think it definitely helped with folks being able to uh sort of see the the breadth and the depth of offerings in the hall i uh, kind of at a glance a lot more easily as you come in the main doors that's awesome yeah. that's good alex it took what brings up a good one amazed how many people flew in from japan new zealand australia etc yeah, good one. It was yeah, great well, seeing. It was great seeing Armin finally. Yeah, and I had a, I had a giveaway that I didn't want to ship that far, so I had a little I had a, um, <laughs> I had a blister of of uh, Reapers uh, that he won a couple weeks earlier. Like here you go, <laughs> so that was good. Oh my God, Curtis, we forgot your minis. Now they're back in my freaking house. Holy shit, his his Moonlight minis from Christine Van Patten. Oh my God. One of my regular players came up from Uruguay. Uh, really? So he and his friend came up, uh, which was great. So I got to oh meet my him gosh. in person that, for the first time. That is wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. And then I got to meet a wonderful couple from New Zealand, too. They were very cool. Got to game with them a bit in uh, the museum on I'll Tuesday. And then saw them uh, in a, later, too. So very fun. Of course, I told Lots you. Lots of internationals. Time. Uh, folks coming in. Carlos Mondragon we- from Mexico City. Yes. Yep. Yep. Good one. Yep. Great to see yeah, him. We, yeah, we actually used to have, a, and Luke talked about it at Dead Dog, was uh, Wes Anderson, who I think may have been a something. Uh, I'm not, we're ne- never quite sure, but um, there are there are some bylines in 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 our in the, in the RPG products with a uh, Wes Anderson, and I don't know if it's the same one or not, but Wes had been coming all the way from australia every year flying and then full volunteer shifts all the way through gary con uh basically a full-time volunteer through gary con and then would fly back home to australia and uh unfortunately uh last year um was he was not able to make it uh he was he was in hospice and we were able to get one of the um get one of the very few printed uh, event guides signed by everybody, you know, Jim Ward and everyone else signed it. 
uh, and we were able to send it out to him. And it really, it, you know, his partner Mitzi uh, was able to. So, uh, yeah, that was going to be. If we get a certain hype, that's going to be my special giveaway. If you didn't get there, the next best thing, a Gary Khan event guide. All right. With all sorts of wonderful people in here. Luke and there's Robert Hartley, Alan Hammock on that page. But you know, there's a there's a But most importantly, Jay. But most importantly is our the, the full spread. <laughs> the, come on, that's awesome looking, right? There's nothing better than that. So. It is. It looks great. It looks great. So thank you, Lee. Lee, Lee did a and great Anna. job. Yes. Oh, Anna, is she the one that actually Anna and I that? laid it out? Tightened it up so and then Anna, sent it to so Anna did all yeah. the work and you yeah. said it looks good. Got it. I oh, I don't get any credit ever, Alan, for coordinating stuff. It's okay. But that's all right. So, yes. So, I have two of these. I'm keeping one. I'll give one away eventually. So, there you go. Yep. Lee is that's better than us. Good. Yes, Lee is. There are some people that are better than us here. Uh, Kat, that's, uh, that's it. Yeah, Anna did the ad completely. Like Anna and I sat here for like a, a whole day trying to move that here, tighten, tighten, tighten. Got to remember about the fold in the middle, all that. So yeah. We, it Why does it look like your mug shot on that one? Because like, I just because I just got it, bailed is out. Your link, Thanks. Is it your LinkedIn picture? No. Well, I, I I don't know. It could be. I I don't know. What do you care, man? What do you want me to do? What, what do you want me to have a full beard and a goatee or whatever? Look like snively whiplash. I could have. So. That'd be a good look for you. Yeah, it probably would be. But this was this was a lot of fun putting this together. So, you want that? Yeah, awesome. So, um, yeah. So I have that, and we'll get to that eventually. But I have an even better giveaway for this Sunday. But is yours signed? There you go. And the eyeballs in these things move on the inside, right? These are those eyeballs. Yeah, there's eyeballs inside that move on it, the set of dice. So this is uh, this is the Eye of the Tyrant pack I got. I'm going to give us away Sunday night. We'll talk about that show later on. We're going to have four. Yeah, Emily, this thing is gorgeous. Great guess. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah this, is, this is awesome. So, like I said, please um, feel free to uh, win it at some point. Huh. Nice. Thank you for the follow. GM Mike M. GM Mike M. Where are you GM of? Let me know. Are you on a stream or you got a group? Because I'd love to know with that name. So, all right. So, I know we got Alan for about, you know, a half hour more at most. And I'm respecting Will. Will said he was between the gym and his game. And then we may uh, be graced by Tim who's just going to sit here and go, wow, that's cool. So, uh, yeah, probably about 15 minutes or so. 15. Today, we can, uh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, Alan, I, what did you miss there that you wanted to get done? Oh, wow. Gosh. I would love to have played more games, you know? Yeah. Never oh, my God, gaming Jay. In. <laughs> what? Exactly. What a question. Dude, there's too much to do. Yeah. There's, there's too there's much. Ever, even if you're there, you got FOMO. If you didn't go, you got FOMO. Yeah. And even if you were there, you got FOMO. People yeah. were like, I was, I'd walk by, order the owl, like, wistfully, like, Oh man, I sure would like to sit down with those will you, folks. Will you do me a favor, Josh, and get them in touch with me so we can have them on the show sometime? It's just Mark Jurannik and uh, and friends. They got a Facebook can, group and everything. Can you make? Can, you, uh, can I make the handshake? Like, sure. Alex or makes the me, connections. Tori I'll give you a warm hand up. Yes, please. Just make the Jay. New edition of Vine Rate launches Kickstarter next week. Very cool. I regret not getting the 25th anniversary edition in the 90s with the open long big box on that. I could have gotten it. They for like changed three. the art and everything. In it. Uh, this is going back to the original art. Oh, is so. it? Very cool. Yep. I yep. wish. I, yeah. So. Um, I, w I wish I could do that again. You get that somewhere. It's like $350 now or something crazy. So um, the reason I ask that is, hey, Jeff, uh, there's p things, there's people I still missed, right? Um, I miss people that I wish I had seen. Like I, I, I said, SRM, I saw like quickly once or twice and that was it, you know? Uh, I would have loved to have seen him more. Um, Did you get into a Bronstein game? When am I going to get into a game, man? I don't know. I, I don't have time. I don't have time. I was lucky to play in the champ in the Curtis's Champions game. By the way, wait to hear these announcements coming up 
All new change, all the new additions to this channel that I'm going to implement. You're going to like it. I hope. I think you'll like it. Um, including a, a little tidbit of that. Um, I could play at night, but it's not my thing. I'd rather socialize. Here's the problem, Alan. Too, you're a normal dude, and you don't, you don't, you don't succumb to your craziness like like all of us do. We didn't. All of us don't want to go to sleep at night because we're still we're hanging out with everyone, knowing we're not going to see these people for another year, right? Good yeah. friends. So it's you turn around, it's two o'clock in the morning, and you're like, I gotta get up at six o'clock to get ready for the next game. I drank too much, especially one <laughs> night. I had a couple um, nights like that. Yeah, and it's like, oh my god! And that's yeah, what the hell happened on Sunday night with the Legio Five get together? There, they said it looked like. Uh, I don't know. I can't relate the words because yeah, they're not that, appropriate. That's one. That's one of the drawbacks is that you just don't want to go to bed. You just don't. And <laughs> yeah, uh, Troy. Let me tell you something. Ten days. <laughs> it was rough. Ask, ask Curtis how he feels now, right? Uh, Alex, Alex, you know, anyone who's there 10 days will tell you they are. Yeah, they're they're right. more than that, right? I mean, when you get down to it, everyone flew in and, and arrived on Thursday, the, the, the 14th, which was my birthday. We all went over to Bill Meinhardt's house where we had a party. Uh, he's got, if you don't know who he is, he is, he is the best D and D RPG collection rather uh, in the world. Absolutely. Bar none. Second best in terrain too. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I've I've seen his terrain. So when we got to see what what like uh you know the uh, the game that Steve Winter was going to run at his house that yeah. uh he had all set up the basically it was a G two uh yeah. Frost Giant Jarl. Yeah. I mean, and That's it was gorgeous. Was great. It, yeah. He worked in some furniture and some white uh, draping. To make the the rift that you could walk through it was so cool, uh, yeah. And that was really when everything began was on Thursday. Um, yeah, Thursday the Founders of Legends weekend or the week. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. I know a lot. Of and it ended skipping. and it ended on Monday. The next fuck <laughs> rush. <laughs> so that was a few days. Jay, how did you manage to get the private executive conference room at Gary Con? I paid for it, okay? The club, you can pay, and you're going to pay a, a lot. Um, so here's the deal. I, I, I think XT Candy might be talking about one of the Bay Board rooms. No, I don't think so. Are you talking XT, are you talking about where I streamed the talk shows, like right here below, or or, or the, the Slav Squad Squad game? Just tell me which one, because those below uh, are the club, and you can pay for club access per room. I uh, Oh, uh, running game. So, uh, so you know how I got it? I kissed Josh's ass. Let's be honest. No, you didn't. You got yeah. Ed to give uh, me a massage, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ed, Ed was giving a lot of people massages. Yeah. If you haven't had a massage from Ed Greenwood, it's Here's sublime. Balfin. You're missing out. Balfin, you missed. I said I, I was shocked your wife was real. But I was very happy for you that your wife was a real person. So, yeah, pucker up, buttercup. Don't start that shit, Alex. Don't. So that was a ball busting. I bust, yeah, don't see that. They are starting. Not me. It's them. So I don't even know what he's starting. Yeah, you do. Going to be starting something. Gotta All right, two, qu starting something. two quick stories. What was the one that you guys said I was supposed to talk about? Oh, so tonight, we don't need to know why. I, I drank really heavily the one night, uh, a bunch of shots. I was loud. I was arrogant and rude, and I guess that's, but it was worse than normal. So I apologized to everyone the next day because it was really loud. Uh, you know, the controller game people were coming in. I was telling them shut up, shut the f up. I mean, because they were like you know going back and forth with me, but that just all in good fun. So Curtis, who I didn't know he had an in, challenges me to the ICB challenge the one night. Irish car bombs, right? I don't know if supposed to call them that, but that's what they are. Well, they didn't have dr they didn't have shot glasses, so that negates it to begin with. If you can't drop your Baileys and Irish, uh, your Baileys and Jameson into the three quarter inch pint of Guinness, it doesn't count, right? So Alex did it too antiquitous. I had to pour it in, which is lame. So I said we're we're gonna go three, two, one, go. 
So I go three, and Curtis starts pouring already. Two, one, go. So Curtis has a two full second start on me. And he edged me out by a tenth of a second. So we got a rematch on that because it was just no shot glass drop and he had a jump head start. There's that story. Yeah, yeah. So when someone says, oh, we got to do this one over, you know that that night is not going to go well. I'm just, I didn't do it yeah. a second time. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I, but that yeah, was Alan, dumb. Alan, what, what happened? What happened in what happened with the Legio five party? What was going on in there? Oh, we just had a uh, regular uh, annual meeting till about, I don't know. It was long. We went from like seven thirty to maybe 10. What happens at your meetings? We, the cleanup team that had to go in after there were wearing hazmat suits. Was there blood on the floor <laughs> and walls? I, I left at about 10, 10, 15. So I don't know. What oh, happened you don't know what else happened. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was gone by then. I, I got a talking to so by the event staff, by the uh, event staff and uh, security. They're like, we don't know what happened in there. <laughs> Her tables were turned, uh, chairs were flipped over. I'm like, why would they do that? What? I guess the Legio part, if you you know, the Legio party don't stop. You know. So, Greg, I can neither confirm nor deny any of the above. <laughs> I think you guys need parental supervision next time. <laughs> Craig, man. Craig, just, Craig, don't make me tear up, please, okay? Look, I, I went all out for this thing. I wanted everyone to enjoy it. I, I, I know there were so many new people coming this year. I wanted I wanted it to be a great experience for everyone. You know, so thanks. Yeah, I tried, uh, you know, because there was a lot of new people there, and we wanted to – we wanted everyone to be included um, – you know, uh, uh, had a couple, like I had a game. I'll give you an example. I won't say who it was. We had an accidental double sign up in one of my games. So I told that, I told Josh, we got to, we got to remove that. I immediately told someone in the community who didn't get in one of my games. I say, get on TTE this second. It's going to open up a seat. And they did. And they got in the game. So like, I, I, I want everyone, I wanted everyone to enjoy themselves as much as possible. So. You're not going to be able to get everyone in who right. wants to play. Alan had, uh, especially for that, yeah, true, true. The Hollywood game. There was a lot of people on his wait list, and in general, people seek those Legio games. Legio Five. What is Legio Five, Alan? Yeah, please tell us about it. Uh, so Legio is a group of folks who've been coming to GaryCon since GaryCon Zero and GaryCon One, and wow. uh, we've. We've uh, we try to run the the old school classic games. Um, do I have to? Do I have to have been coming since Gary Khan one to play in a Legio game? No, 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 no. The games are open to everybody. It's the group, and um, and you don't even have to be a you know uh, old uh, someone who's been in uh, all those conventions to uh, to be a DM. We have we have some folks who are. Legio DMs who are, uh, you know, quite a bit younger than some of us old graybeards. So it's, so uh, not it's, everyone it's an has attitude been to, and an approach been. to gaming. Uh, you know, okay. Alex said said he got in one of the Legio games. You were busy, man. I, I don't know how you did it, Alex. I mean, you were volunteering and you were everywhere. So, and like I said, you played an unbelievably great Telegord. So it was awesome. It was just great playing. Um, so, uh, yeah, really cool. That was really great. <sighs> so, Alan, I know you got to go shortly. So, uh, we'll hopefully we'll be on any minute to, uh, um, and uh, you know, to uh, entertain us a little bit here. Plus, uh, we got something coming up with Will, hopefully within like three weeks. Um, but Alex, uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, Alan, what uh, we we gotta get Rob back on. You think that's possible? Yeah, I'm sure. He, like yeah, Rob Two E, Rob, Rob Koontz. Yeah, he's got, oh. he, uh, in fact, I was, uh, you know, we didn't have copies of his new book because it's PDF only right now. But I, I, I had a flyer up there at the booth so I could point people to it, let them know that the PDF releases are out there. Hey, bro. Did I see Will's Adventures in your booth too? Ravensrook? Or did I just no, imagine that? No, no, not this. I think we had stock previously. And I don't think we had any left for this year. So I should actually him for a restock so 
Curtis told a good story about Will and Brook Roost. I'm going to retell it because we were talking on the phone today. And he said, what a great guy. I never met William Henry Dvorak before. Uh, but I, 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 I won a Rook Roost, he did one a Rook Roost on my show, but he gave it out for Tower Gygax. And uh, and he, and then you know Curtis said to Will, you know, I, I need to I need to rebuy one of them. And Will's like, I'll just send you another one, man. You're you know you're you're in the community and all. And it's like, thanks. That's just how wonderful everyone is here. So I just wanted to share that that you know there's not that a, we're wonderful. We know we're wonderful. I'm just saying it it it, it means a lot. I think that's why I, I feel wonderful. I know you feel marvelous. So Alan, uh, exactly. Like, in closing, for you. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. I know you got a game coming soon. I hope you feel better shortly. I know you're. Um, yeah, it's you know. it's all right. It, it's it's truthfully just an inconvenience for me right now. So hopefully it stays that way. So. I hope so too. I hope so too. What do you hope for the rest of the year for this this little bump we've gotten? Well, let's see. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll have uh, one or more of my castle levels in print by the end of the year. Maybe Ooh. in time for. Oh. Virtual Greyhawk car. Huh? We'll see. Beautiful. Well, if, you, um, if you need if you need someone to help get it done, uh, Troy is an excellent uh, whip uh, and producer. So he is you know, it's going slow. Is, yep. I mean, Jay's Air uh, Altamira product product would probably not have gotten done in time Thanks, if he hadn't Josh. been in there. And he, and, and he gets it done. I mean, do you want to get it done? If you want to get it done by a certain date. Maybe talk to Troy and Lee, and uh, and it and it and it gets done. Like you know, that's great. Like these things, they get done because of those yep, guys. Yep. Yeah, I did a I did a piece for the Janelle tribute uh, project, Return to Perinthos in January. Ooh. So I got that done. Wow! And um, that was a you know, I had to turn it around basically in about five or six weeks so wow i wrote way too much for it is there art in there too and maps there will be yeah yeah. um so that's going to be published in may and then all the proceeds from that will go to again support becky and the family is Uh, that like a like a judges guild shout out thing corinthos corinthos i I think that's just the name they took i don't i don't know I i don't know the wilderlands deeply uh that's my business partners calling, uh, calling. Okay, yeah, sure. but um but i'm uh, i'm i'm also hopeful that we'll have uh the full version of my adventure uh for that available for texas um in a small limited run for that uh, that we can again help uh help becky and, and the rest of Chanel's family with so well I hope, um, Alan, that we continue with all this great stuff going on. I think we're on a roll here, you know? I think the community is really getting stronger instead of weaker, and I feel it for the first time in a a while. I mean, it was like like this, it was like this, and then it was, sorry, and then boom, right? I just feel it. Uh, I'm I'm really excited about this year uh, for everyone. And if something magical happens, it would be even 10 times better and we're all waiting so got some great stuff going on but like let's have rob back on that'll be fantastic at some point alan i know i know that our legends of lore with your uh with your uh, um Greyhawk ruins discussion was one of the most highly acclaimed ones we've had in a long time so oh, i'd love to have you well, back you. on to talk about another topic you are an expert on so think about that and we can you know have you on on, on legends of the lore and just really have at it it's something that is so you know that you just know like the back of your hand in greyhawk would love to have you back on for that so yeah cool. well thanks. thanks of course it's always fun to come on with you guys and work on stuff with the community awesome well it's much appreciated alan feel free to hang as long as you can you got a bolt now it's fine um uh you know but uh um no problem. It was just a, it was just a reach out there. To, uh, not a big deal. Uh, I'm talking to someone in the chat there. So, um, yeah, I should I should probably get so I can uh, I, get a little dinner before my uh, sounds good. We're gonna go over my we're, next game. So, so let's let's start by going. Um, we'll go over start going over this as Alan and waiting for Will to come on or uh, someone else. I think right. uh, you know Will should be coming. See you soon, Alan. Thank you so All very right. much. Good night, guys. All right, Thanks. see it. 
All right. What do you think, Josh? Do some of this. So, at our, our watch it at the, the Greyhawk um, stream for uh, the seminar. Myself, Mike, and Anna. It was a lot of fun. Um, and by the way, my voice is freaking going again. Unbelievable. All this pile here. I showed this entire pile of everyone. At look at all this stuff. Now some we've gone over, like the Gulf of Gaiar, uh, the domain of the despotic giant king. Oh, by the way, so I did that quick stream Sunday, right? When yeah. I thought I was only yeah. had a two hour delay. <coughs> so Eric Mona is there. Eric Mona came on and talked about all the great stuff uh, that he had seen and done. So Eric Mona got both these, Troy and everyone, and both lens. All right. So Eric Mona has them, and he just – we gave him all four of those. And Eric said – all he said was, wow, this is impressive. So I came from Eric Mona, guys and gals. So – Oh my God! Yeah, loved them. It was such a that was such a great seminar. I haven't even read this except one article, less. So, Josh, shall we go through this real quick? Sure, sure. It's weird. I mean, I'm looking for Anna, and I see Josh there, and I'm like, Oh yeah, sure. Let's <laughs> talk about let's talk about the dungeons and the dragons. Let's everyone hope that Anna gets better soon, too. You know, yeah, she will. I I certainly hope so. I know he's. Uh, I know she's. Uh, she's hurting. So everyone was pleasant. I agree, Jeff. All right. So look at the size of this. Thanks, thanks, Jeff. Anna is the best. Uh, here we go. Here with the table of contents. Credits go. Uh, Norker. Gary Francisco, what's his name on Discord? Anyone? I don't know him. Or do I? And I just, it's some, another person. Sam Weiss, Rick Miller's involved, Lee. And look at all these uh, all these participants here. A huge number. You got, you know, in here, Dan Smith, Will, Will's in here. Uh, just one. Well, yeah, it's 48 pages of glory here. Uh, I need someone to link where this is downloadable. Is it yet? There, Norker, Lee, any of you on? So, um, here's the forward. So, this is the second issue of the Grey Grimoire. Just really cool. Where Where is this supposed to be, everyone? It almost looks like a lightsaber. Uh, Norker or uh, Sam, please tell me. There, uh, is that the download? Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Link's up. So, let me know where, where you believe this, this picture is in Greyhawk. Or is it, um, I, I love that picture. It's awesome. So, cool. Oldridge, Rick Miller. That's very cool. So Oldridge sits at the junction of trade routes connecting the Old Kingdom to the free city of Greyhawk. All right, well, that's cool. So this is Rick Miller uh, stepping back into things, which is great to see. Um, so he's got I a really liked his uh, world map, Beyond the Flint S map. Yeah. He had yeah. some good naming for things, not like the DA. Oh, my God, yeah. Or Craig. Yeah. <laughs> I Josh, I really like his remake of the Veil of the Mage myself. That's that's my favorite thing from, from yeah? Rick Miller. Yeah, absolutely. Is is it because you hate Veil of the Mage or you, you no, like I don't what hate doing? Veil of the Mage at all. I thought it was a great idea. I thought the adventure was stupid. There's Necromancer's wandering through. Okay. And uh, uh, Jaron Crimea or J Jason or Jaron, whatever his name is, Crimea is wasn't there, so. Okay, so it's a dumb adventure. It's more of a campaign setting book for it. So there's the town. Nice. <laughs> Ray Grimoire. So he's got he's got all the areas mapped out. So you have a town, which you could probably place somewhere else if you want in Greyhawk besides where Rick Miller places it. So please note that is a cool thing. And great artwork. I mean, look, um, a wonderful uh, job by him adding in. Um, adding. Who did some of that art and cartography? Uh, who's uh, who's art and cartography there? Please uh, let us know, um, Lee. And, and then just and, and then the layout there, just that that kind of like that soft kind of breaking yep. apart thingy between the image and the. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, and it goes on for a bit here. Knights of the Great Kingdom Garrison. Does this take place in an earlier year? That's what I'm thinking. 
Huh. Oh, it's half filled, so maybe not. Does Curtis have an article on this one? Curtis? I'm not sure. Curtis, you got an article on this one? Doesn't he have like a write up somewhere on the Invincible Knights of of something or another, uh, one of the uh, the knighthood organizations? Curtis has stuff in this issue, according to Sam. There you go. Oh my God! I never set the drawing up. Holy shit! I am dumb. Hold on. Well. Oh no, Jay! You're oh, not no. dumb. Uh, you're not dumb. I think Anna yelled at me one time at Gary Khan. I won't say. Really? For, yeah. I won't That's say it. <laughs> I won't say for what. But yeah, but I got. Jay. <laughs> Who didn't no. yell at me? Everyone was everyone was mad at me at one moment or another because of my stupid behavior or something I did. So I apologize. I profusely apologize as much as I can. I'm not tracking any major issues with you. Well, you aren't, so there you go. Thank you. I tried to behave myself as much as possible, and it backfired in some instances. But, you know, we're, we're okay. Wow, this is huge. I'm not saying it. Old Ridge. Okay, there it is. All right, got it. Nice. So it's right. It's located on the map, so you know exactly where it is. Fantastic. How many were printed and brought? Ten of each, Lee. So ten lucky winners. Mike, I doubt Josh is coming to page. He doesn't need to be a page because we. Who? We got Alex, we got Troy, myself, Anna, all the Troll Lord people. Uh, I, a ton of locals are going to be there this, this I'd time. I'd love around. to go to lots of conventions. Yeah. I would I love mean, to go to Page. I would love to go to NTRPG. Yeah. Uh, and, and you're going to Game Hole, right? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to Game Hole. I mean, I, uh, I got a lot. I got. Whew. Uh, I mean, I like going to other conventions because I can see how they're run. And then uh, on top of it, I get to play. Because everyone's like, you're going to get a game in? You know, and I'm just like. Michael, jo Josh doesn't have time to, to want to go anywhere. He's he's going there for a purpose now. So he's No, I went at Game Hall. I just jumped into games last year. Yeah, I but went, you were out there I scouting with for Gary Khan. No, I just, I'll, I'll go and I'll sit down and, I'll, hey, okay. my car's like, hey, do you want to, that's where I met Steve Winter for the first, I told you that story, right? Where sister. I'm sitting there. Yeah. What's that? DM sister in there. DM sister, what is your real name? Because are you, is that, is that Phil? Phil, is that you? Let me know if that's you. What are we looking at? It is, look at that. Wait, how did I know that? Boom. Story. I'm waiting six freaking hours for a. Yes. Success. Yes, I did. Gremlins it. got him. I'm, I'm waiting six freaking hours for a plane. And I'm sitting there. This is when it was only like three hour delay. And a gentleman comes across from me, and all the chargers are across, you know, across from me. He look, and he, he sits down, looks around, and he goes, Jay? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm Phil Wirt. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm the uh, community manager for Paige. I'm like, dude. So, like, because, you know, he's from the area. He lives in Reading. I live in East Greenwich. So, um, so we hooked up and we talked for a long time. We we also talked met two people that were waiting for the same plane who had gone to, uh, what's the other con that's in the area? The one in Chicago, um, the, ga uh, the gaming con, the, uh, the, the painting con. What is it called? In Chicago? Yeah, it was the same weekend. Yeah. Uh, C Adepticon, C thanks. E Adepticon. Oh, yeah. And the Ventress guys were waiting for their plane going back to Maryland. So they were there too. So it's a big hangout and we're all just talking and stuff. And Phil and I are talking a lot and um about about Paige. And I'm like, I'm gonna help you guys help you guys out as as much as possible. Phil, I've planted the initial seed for Mr. E. G. Okay. So let me work it. And I'm gonna see if we can make it happen because I got who's I, E G. Well, why don't we make it easier? We'll call him Ed. How Ed about E D? No, no, Ed. no. You know, how about E Greenwood? Yeah. Oh, yeah that, All yeah. right. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it for you. So that's what we talked about. He's like, I'd love to get Ed Greenwood. I'm like, you, you, you want Ed Greenwood at every con yeah. because that guy knows yeah. how to con. He sleeps three hours a night, and he is. I mean, like when Curtis, I I was normally very disciplined about going to sleep every night. 
because uh, right. exhaustion hits. But that that Saturday night, Bushra's got the pizza coming in. Ed, me, Curtis, and Brad are hanging. Uh, and then, you know, and she starts giving the pizza out to like, you know, Tom Morello and all them. And, and, uh, she's like, you guys want some pizza too? And so, and Ed and, and Curtis and I were like, yeah, let's, let's eat some pizza with these, you know, with all the celebrities. And so we're sitting there and Ed's just telling us the lore of the, you know, the history of things. Will! He's just oh, so nice. I so, am. So nice no is friend. an understatement. And but I do schedule them Josh? always. Hey, yeah. Hey, how you doing, Will? Oh, better when I see you, man. Yeah. Well, it was nice to meet you in person for the first time. I didn't recognize I you live. I know. There's a couple of people. It's like I went up, introduced myself. They're like, get away. And then they came back up to me and like, oh, hey, I totally didn't realize it was you. Because you were just being friendly. <laughs> yeah. In know. fact, I think I'm going to exclude the ladies. Because that's not, not a fair comparison. But I think the number one person that everyone has said to me, I'm so glad I met them for the first time, was you, Will. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. Which is really yeah. awesome. That's you quite know, flattering, so, yeah, actually. Absolutely. So, and it was it was great to meet everybody. So yeah, I have to say... Meeting Jay was exactly how I thought it would be. It was, <laughs> exactly. And I mean that as a compliment. So well, thank you, Will. <laughs> so it, it was, I, I think one of the other things too is the simple fact that it's like certain people I met and it was like, we just, we'd known each other forever, and, which yeah. we have. You yeah, know like six mean? years now like, in the streaming world. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like uh, still meeting somebody for the first time in person. Yeah. You know. So, but, and yeah, I, I, I'm gonna bloviate. Will Will said the second most nice thing to me during that unbelievable stream we had. We had 42 guests on that on, on that on Holy that three crap. hour on that three hour Gavin Prelude show to Gary Khan, right? Uh, Josh, that night, that Wednesday night, it was insane. Uh, we just had row after row after row of people, and you had uh, is that you when know, I was lording when I when I got that ice cream from you. Yeah, I gave out free ice cream. Yep, I I had I had cocoa. I asked cocoa and bird. I pre-ordered it. Uh, I, at seven o'clock, it was a pickup, and I, I it was going to be a shift, and then in change, and I and I and they went and got it, and we handed out ice cream. We had, I got like a dozen of them. It's legit. Had, I can I can vouch because I helped them carry it. You did well. Yeah, will will helped as well. So yeah, that was it. So. And I've I've now dispelled the Jay ate your ice cream thing for two two years ago previous so yeah yeah you know, there's uh, you know, there's interest on that stolen ice cream hey boo boo yeah I think twelve uh, offsets one so hi hello thanks boo boo uh, ask your daughter if she wants to meet my son at Gary Con next year hey B do you want to meet uh, uh, Jay's son if he comes to Gary Con next year <laughs> huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awesome! <laughs> Guess she not. And, she and Sabrina were thick as thieves. I That's think awesome. they've got yeah. They're you, you want it, You want them to hang out with Max and uh, yeah, and, it's uh, okay. Mira and uh, Ike. There's a little bit of a nice uh, an age difference. So I He's 14. That. Yeah, that's yeah. Per, that's perfect. No. Yeah, she, she the, the Amira, Max, and and Ike weren't really crossing streams with uh, Sabrina and B. Uh, you got to be in the uh, eleven-year-old club. Yeah, I remember that. Your I son, your son that. needs to get into some. You need to put him in some games, man. There's, I mean, that's on live there's, there's games. He just doesn't I, stream them. No, I mean at Gary can. At Gary, yeah, can. probably. If, if he comes, yeah. absolutely. So the history prof, which is the Buck Rogers ball buster guy. He got sick early on too, and he missed a bunch of games because he was ill. I feel sorry for you because you were hanging out, looking cool, and I saw that you were looking like crap that one day, and then you were di disappeared. So I'm really sorry you got sick. So there were yeah. people who got sick early. Yes, yeah, I, Patrick, I, I, I do. I don't have room, Patrick. I, this pile is literally bigger than my freaking legs <laughs> down here now. Speaking of, hey, Patrick, the uh, the print version uh, with all of these dragon dragon swords ready. With all these thick books, man. I mean, literally, there's piles of. I got Marklands books. I got. Yeah, I mean, thick books. 
Yeah, I got all these. I got multiples of the original uh, Folio books. I got so much. Well, thank you, Patrick, for that. Yeah, they were sitting here. Trust me, uh, my wife doesn't go through mail ever. So um, there was... <laughs> yeah, uh, the history prop was volunteering. What were you doing? That guy to your left. I don't know what... Uh, um, oh, and the picture? Your left? Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you were Josh. The picture. Yes, you were a Josh minion, which is perfect. Was he? Oh, I... I guess so. I'm trying to get out of that business. Yeah. Uh, what do slave lords when do when, when they, when they, yeah. So I'm just going to go worship the earth dragon before we announce <laughs> something that Will's going to do. There you hopefully go. <laughs> as long as the ever mysterious Tim confirms the date and you better still be out there, Tim, if you're not, I'm going to beat you. Oh, we, Tim and I talked quite a bit. Today oh, you it. did. Oh yeah. Are we good on that date? Are we good? He's good. He's finding out tonight. Okay, so good. Should we? We should have some sort of confirmation come. <laughs> I have. Come I have a special tomorrow. guest going to join us too. Oh, nice. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. We'll talk about that too. So, uh, so it'll be that. that and Tony, I, I guess I could confirm. Well, no, it, uh, the background. My ah, background should be a little bit of a hint. It's a halfling. It's a halfling guardian. It's a halfling. All right. Okay. But that's all I'll say for right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have, if I count myself, Tim, and the special guest, it's three. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. And then whatever. So for next year, Curtis wants Will to take. So we're going to be expanding Tower of Gygax. Tower of Gygax was for mostly just Founders and Legends, but we'd like to make it part of Gary Kind. It was very successful. I'm disappointed in almost everyone's kill count. Um <laughs> I'm really disappointed. Anna had a really great kill count, but now no, no, Jay's no, no. Let's no. Jay's going to be insufferable. No, hear about this. <laughs> he survived. I but, lived. So I'm going to count on somebody else killing him. So someone else volunteered too. But they want the the. So we're going to add two more admins. Hopefully, um, uh, Bones and Myriad. Oh, are good. Gonna join in to help spread the load out so that Curtis and Brett aren't so pinned down. That's awesome. And they want you, Will, to uh, oh, that's great. Take a slot, and you can ask Anna. She was the yeah. leadoff person. Actually, I was talking with Curtis during the con about it. That's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, it's already so he, it's already he, happening, huh? Yeah, he 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 already. Uh, we already had a nice little. So that means you're coming next year, then, Will, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That I, that's one hundred percent. Tell yeah. us, please, the experience. It Talk. was spectacular. Okay, it was. There were definitely surreal moments, of course. You know, it's like you you walk down the hall, you see Mike Pond Smith. Yeah. You know, it's Can't like I'm, Darling, I'm, yeah. I'm walking down another hall, and there's uh, Frank Medster texting in a chair. You know, <laughs> it's like oh my god. Okay, the. Uh, Meeting Ed was a really I I was looking forward besides you know all of the community like the regular folk I was looking forward to meeting all of those people, but I really wanted to meet Ed because I think Ed's just a freaking hoot, <laughs> and he he's he's as advertised <laughs> so yeah and and, and then Ed's the some. coolest probably we, the coolest we thing. do schedule all of his events to the adult room by the way mm, smart good move. very smart <laughs> sorry continue. So I I ran Marvel Superheroes because I wanted to stand out because I figured nobody's going to run that. There's going to be a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. And I was right. Smart move. The, the only other Marvel that was there was uh, uh, that I can tell was Matt Forbeck, the guy who wrote the new uh, uh, multiverse, Marvel multiverse game. And he ran that. Um, so at I, I in. During the the con, I saw Jeff Grubb like three times. I passed him, right? But he was going somewhere, and I didn't want to stop him because he seemed like he was in a hurry, you know. And it's and I had questions. So, um, at the end of my third game of Marvel Superheroes, I look up and who's standing over here taking a picture of my table? But Jeff Grubb. And I was nice. like, oh, my God, you're Jeff Grubb. <laughs> and so I ran over and fanboyed all over him. And, you know, I got to ask my questions and what have you. So 
And uh, that, was, that was pretty awesome. Jeff's so nice. He uh, he, he was is. standing and just chatting. All the everyone is available, right? Everyone's yes. just like hanging out. They'll talk to you, and they'll they'll yep. keep talking to you. Mike yep. Pondsmith told me basically the history of whatever was just hanging around the Legends of Wargaming room. Yeah, and uh, Jeff happened to be right outside Brasago, the high end uh, Italian joint, and uh, and um, Chef uh, had made a that huge those dice cakes that I took a picture of. But the real thing, so he, we all came in and we all had dice cake. And uh, the real thing was that third edition player's handbook. That's also cake, which was, that huge. was cool as shit. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, Jeff got to Jeff took some good pictures of that, all that. That's super yeah. cool, man. So that was that was like that was super cool. That's that's something that, you know, I'll, I'll always be able to remember. And uh, yeah, it was just it was just great. And then there's like different like streamers that I saw, and you know, like I I, I saw the Dungeon Dudes, and uh, was it uh, uh, Daniel from uh, was it what the hell is his called Goblin Tower? Oh no! Or some kind of crap. Oh no! I can't remember. Oh no! Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> What's up with Give his me. face? You got nothing on your face, man. You get nothing on your face. I didn't know. I was traveling um, down south, and I forgot my razor. So I, I got a couple days of scruff, man. I'm like, shit. I'm traveling with a corporate guy from uh, from you know our corporate in Atlanta. I'm like, oh man. So yeah, but why, just... why? Hello, Timothy. Hello, <laughs> the ever mysterious Tim, who did not go, so he's slumming. I did not go. I'm here representing the unwashed masses who are not privileged to attend. Yes, you're privileged. You're all you welcome. gotta do is all you gotta do is get on a, a plane or drive your car and buy a ticket. You know, you don't need you to live it sound in a room. So easy. <laughs> yeah, you can live in a trench because that's you know with your trenching tool. So you're you're fine. <laughs> Right, that's true. That's true with Tim. Yep, it sounds Perhaps. so easy, but it is. But two weekends, no, it's, it wasn't easy. All right, well, continue, please. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't even remember. What, what else? Hell like what? What are oh. highlight, highlights? I tell you what, going around and seeing all of the the town and everything is really cool. It would have been nice if the dungeon hobby shop was was open. You know, I have to say, I won't go too far up into the weeds with any of that, but the um. Maybe somebody will buy it for a decent price and reopen it sometime <laughs> here in the near future. Well, but, I know Jeff um, was at Gary Khan, and it was wonderful to see Mr. Leeson. He's a he's a cool dude. Yeah. The uh, but you know to, just to to see all the places and 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 what have you to, hey, to, nice. to be in the general area of everything. The museum is freaking cool. That's way cool. Even even even. Going in, you not even uh, like, because like the D and D room, it's like a little side room, and and you get to see old products. Yeah. It's got up the garden path, which, damn, that's a hard to get a hold of module. <laughs> well, that was that was uh, put there by Paul Storm. Was it? I was gonna say, I was like, wow. So there's the Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum, and then there's the Geneva Lake Museum. The Geneva Lake Museum is what, like. And the board of directors for that is like Ed Schwinn, you know, the Schwinn bicycles guy, uh, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You know, it's just, it's, that's a part of Lake Geneva and it's been a part of Lake Geneva for a long time. And they now have a, uh, you know, through uh, Paul Stormberg and some other folks, a uh, very nice uh, Dungeons and Dragons um, entry there. And Paul's been working hard with uh, the community uh, there and, and, the, and the government. Uh, the local government to try and you know get more recognition for for Gary. Do you see the the new? Uh, um, I don't know what you would call the damn thing. It's 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 a statue sort of deal that they're going to make. Yeah. It's the picnic table with with the with the benches, and there's going to be a statue of Gygax sitting at the end of the table where you can sit and you can yeah. be at the and, table. And, and <laughs> there's <laughs> like so there's this all this like argument about. Oh no! All this, most of the space that's considered part of the park is actually owned by something else. That is, it's never going to change, but it's not part of what you know Lake Geneva can give. So only the small right. space that, and then they're all worried about the naming. And it's like, 
what does it matter? They're going to call it Gygax Park after that thing goes in, and the whole area right. will just be called exactly. Right, Park. right, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I think no, it's, it's funny no, that they're, they're squabbling over such a thing. So, <laughs> no, they, I think that, no, they stopped squabbling because they all just looked at each other and were like, oh, yeah, that's right. okay, good. Right. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's how it They be. had that moment. There was some initial, it wasn't squabbling. It was more like, well, that's not, we can't, you know. Josh, I got an idea. Discussion. There's a good word. We yeah. got to get the ever mysterious Tim there. You make him a volunteer, and you just you have him just, walk. You have him walk up what, and down the hall. What does he want? How about we ask before I draft him and sail my yellow sailed ship toward you know whatever New Jersey or Pennsylvania or wherever you guys live? It's Jersey. Whatever. It's all made up. <laughs> <laughs> what does he want to do? Does he want to go to a convention? I mean, of course he does. Do you, Tim? It's, 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 sure a hell of a gra- it's a hell of a grand time. I, I think, I, I think I'm going to get him and Bill to Page this year, which is right in King of Prussia. I am planning on doing that. Yes, there we go. That would be I'll, that'll, I'll, that'll, I'll that'll task, yeah. I've even tasked somebody to make sure that I do not fail to meet the relative timelines that I don't keep track of. Right. Yeah. So, But by that time, badges are already I have a sold person out for to help So, yes, you do. You have a person to help you? Yes. Is, is it Bill? No, uh, I had to. I had to Alex, outsource this. Jay, Alex, you didn't help me. Antiquitous. Yeah, I'm Alex. Saying, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm not All saying, right. Yeah. See, look at that. I knew who. Good. But Good. I'm not saying no. Get, crack that whip. What's the king of Prussia's page? You fill, let... Someone link the Philadelphia Area Gaming Expo Year Two uh, for History Prof, please, in chat. There were 1,200 people there. January, right? Yeah, January. What? It was good. I mean, I was shocked how good it was. I was I was really really um, surprised and being the being a VIP guest there, Josh. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was it, super it was difficult good. for me this past year. Anyway, I was traveling so much at Christmas I couldn't do it. Yeah, I know. I, I, I understood. So um, it's all yeah. Good. And I might drive out with me. Good. I, I think I want to run a game or something there. Oh, that is yeah, awesome. That'd so be great. I will get you we'll get it all worked out. Oh boy, those people are gonna be scared uh, scared shitless. <laughs> so why so don't nice, we I'm, I'm just all I'm Santa Claus. Why don't we make some announcements? Is that all right, Josh? You go with that? All right, well, he's, let, eat, he's eating. I'm I wanna get the no, I wanna get to page five of this first because um because I'm gonna tear up here. All right. Let me let me do this real quick. All right. Tim, yes, where's the exactly, Naz? Exactly, the monks and the hey, princess, Naz. Doc Jacques. Thank What's you up, very Nick? much. The monastery of silent devotion north of the Caliphate of Ekbir. Very cool, very cool. So, we got some Baclunish in here, Clark of Zanye. Awesome. So, Princess Noor is the fourth daughter of Zarjan, the Caliph of Ekbir. Very cool that we're getting some new lore here and some uh, new uh, um, write ups for Baclunish. That is awesome. I like it. And great artwork here, and I, will, I really appreciate that. Looks like it's in fifth edition. Is that correct, there, Will? It looks like fifth. Oh, is this yes. my stuff? No, no, this is not. I'm just oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I don't know editions after first and second. It's fifth edition. It's fifth. yeah, that's fifth edition. Okay. I can tell by the layout. But do I have to play fifth edition? Yep. <sighs> I actually have played some fifth edition, Jay. Good. Really. What does it matter? You're a terrible player as a player. You know? Thank you. That's just so nice of you. Who survives Anna Meyer's Tower of Gygax? This guy. As as uh, as Will as, uh, insufferable. Uh, <laughs> For the next year, awesome lady. Someone, you need to play again, and I, we need to make sure you get killed. <laughs> there you go, Brett. Hey, I had to do it. So I'll you take know, wait, 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 what do you mean? I'll what do you mean? I have to get killed. Yeah, you know. Well, no, you'd kill yourself, of course. I mean, we don't. Uh, I thought uh, it Woody, Brett, he's an awful cautious player. Brett, like some would say, too. Can't cautious. die in fifth uh, edition. It wasn't yeah, fifth edition. Really first edition. Who do you think he was first? first edition? Brett, we now, keep in mind. Tell if, them if I played well. Fifth edition. It's it's definitely going to be uh, uh, a hardcore version of fifth edition. None of that that. Uh, it's easy to not hard to die sort of crap. There is no All you such need to thing. Do it, yeah, there is. You can kill people easy in fifth edition if yeah, you're not if, doing it. You know how to. If you don't, let's put it this way: if you can't kill them, you're not doing it right. 
<laughs> well, a DM yeah. can always kill people. Oh, you're dead. Yep. See, there you go. No, so you just it's there's there's um so you get like like three chances to not be dead, right? Uh, well, and... Death saving throws. Yeah, yeah. but there's yeah. there's binding wounds in, in first edition that you got nine rounds if you're only a negative one. Jay, I'm taking a short rest. Uh, <laughs> right? Oh man, I'm all better. Ed, Ed <laughs> try come at you like a spider monkey, Timmy. Ed, Bill, Mine, <laughs> Al, Bill Meinhardt, and Stephen Danielson all tried to get that short rest, and I was like, nope, nope. Yeah, you just don't. Meinhardt, Mine... he's very much the AD and D guy. Well, he was egging on because he wanted Ed to get his way, right? Uh, oh, Ed well, was yeah. Falling asleep. Yeah. Ed felt, you know, because of his meds and stuff. All right, so man, I just lost my freaking train of thought. God darn it! You're making <laughs> stuff up again. Uh, so <laughs> let's talk. Oh, let's right here. Tom below Scott Wiley Hobbit, really cool. And, and under Red Red Gorge, a town near Free City of Cauldron, beneath the Helverses and Hardarni Range. This is the Cauldron series. This is the first Adventure Path, okay? Which is cool. We don't know of anyone who did any added content for this. So while, Scott Scott did Wiley Hobbit. Really cool. Got to meet Wiley at the con. Yes. Super that, awesome, dude. Also, Phantom was there. Rob. Scott Phantom was running. Uh, Got to meet Rob. The, Scott was running the Lendor. Uh, sorry, not Lendor. Um, Lead stuff. Yeah, well, year. he was specifically yeah. running yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. the one that the, Troy did the map for. Isn't that Lendor. the tower or something uh, thing? Feel good time. The lighthouse. There it is. It's the, the I light. said tower. That's good. He did. He did. Uh, he did a more compressed lighthouse map because that map's pretty big. Yeah, uh, which was a good for the table, right? Because it kind of pushed things in. Yeah, I was able to. Um, I autographed his uh, his book of mine. It was it very was a, nice. Yeah, man, it was a weird year. This is the first year I've ever had people ask me for autographs. First year. You're famous now, Jay. No. It's true. No, uh, uh, it Darling, Darling same thing. I know Darling had a lot of, a lot of uh, <laughs> as well. So this is really cool. Uh, Village of Red Gorge so, uh, uh, from Wiley. So uh, it's Scottish also Jeff. I met Scottish Jeff. anywhere. Um, Wiley, uh, that's cool. Yeah. The autograph people were just are hedging bets for later, just in case you know you want to invest Tim. early. That's just so freaking nice of you. <laughs> where's my autograph? Well, where's mine? I'm expecting plenty of autograph it's stuff. It's coming, okay? baby. <laughs> so I was talking with Jeremy from 3D, right? What? Yeah. He he might do a table next year. Great. If I have yeah. Jeremy and Build a Master Crafter there. Mm-hmm. It's gold. And I was telling him, I was like, you know what you should do? There he is. He's on. Jeremy's on right now. Hi, Will. Hey, yep. Jeremy. Good to see you, man. Jeremy's a super hey. awesome dude. So <laughs> I got it. I got Oh, hey. Jingo, thank you. So you're not lurking right yet. You're going to look in five seconds. Every, the night Jeremy hung out with us, I was getting, that's when I was getting bombed. And everyone yeah. goes, that dude, he's hanging out there and he's just, pounding beers down and he's not talking to anyone who is that guy right he's just sitting there he's sitting there looking at an enigma right in, in, in the back bar room I'm my like, bodyguard that, i'm like that's jeremy from gamescape 3d damn it that man's a legend so yeah that was awesome that was really cool jeremy he made the grand tournament yep jeremy jeremy saved my butt i mean he did the, the setup we had for Ed's game was bar none the best one I've ever had. Uh, you know, he and he he came and he custom set it up for me and then set up the underground part where we fought the Greenwood Dragon. It was awesome. Yeah. It was so awesome, Jeremy. It's good to see you. And <laughs> so thank you. Need to stay at the hotel next year. Yeah. And thanks to and thank you to Austin and Peyton Neal, who uh help run the uh bed and breakfast in Woodstock, right? Mm. Where uh, Jeremy was able to drop the stuff off at. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Right. For for the Thursday. Yeah, and that saved my butt, man. Wow, that was so awesome. I I'm, I'm not gonna showing... at least gonna try to get <laughs> in the town in Lake <laughs> Lake Geneva next year. That's just the goal. I'll take it one step at a time. <laughs> Austin and Peyton, uh, his parents own the Cherry Tree Inn, which was the bed and bre- bed and breakfast from. Uh, oh. Groundhog Day. 
Oh, yep. really? Different. And Woods, yeah, really? Woodstock's about 20, 25 minutes from we'll all Lake Geneva. Week. Oh, yeah. See, that would be good. And I, I believe Bowfriend got this. And I believe Bowfriend got to stay there because we ran out of room at my place for the for the ha- Higgity Hang. The what? Right. The, 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 what'd you say? The hangout. Oh. The hangout. The Higgity okay. Hang. It was awesome. So, lesson for me. Thanks, Alex. Lesson for me. Don't rent a car. No, uh, I won't do I'm going to Uber if it cost me 100 125 150 bucks. Because I spent $500 on a car that I used one yep. time. Yep. Yep, yep. Off off site once I was there. So uh, I ain't I ain't They got that Turo right. too. If you're staying bet- in the place where it's at, that you yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, well I'm, I am definitely again. So yes. So there you go. Absolutely. And that yeah. Turo service hey, Chris. is like super cheap. Yeah. That's the one where people like loan out their own cars. So yeah, I would do that before I rented the car again. I'm driving next year, so it doesn't matter. Pick me up from where, prof? From Chicago? Yeah. Then someone's gotta take me back to Chicago. I wanna you know, I guess I could Uber it back. So uh get some pizza in Chicago. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, we'll figure That's it out. That's what we did. We got deep dish and brought oh, it over God. to Bill's house for my birthday. Mm, that cool. sounds really good. So <laughs> let me go over this real quick because it's going to give me a tear. Th- I'll, I'll do this one. The White Rose of the Soul Imperium by Les Reno. Now, I uh, here, for, for Jay Lurkins of Scott, who asked for it. So let me go over this real quick. So if you all remember, um, in the Pomarge, we have uh, these white roses in the, uh, um, oh, my God. My brain is shut off uh, in the petrified forest. All right. So and let, I, I said to Les, I said, what's the lore behind this? Does anyone know the lore? And Les is like, nope, but I'll make it up for you. Mm-hmm. And here it is. Thank you, Scala. Yes, uh, Sam, thank you. He wrote this just for me. I haven't really delved into it that uh, into depth. I've just because I've been so busy with real work. But um, but I'm going to go over through this like a fine tooth comb, read this, and incorporate more into into my lore. Yep. So there, there are the roses. Uh, it was great. I mean, just wonderful. It's like a, it's like a, a it's like a footnote in the Grelk Adventures book by Jim Ward. So and uh, and less what the talent this. I mean, look at the level of the detail on this, the storyline behind it, what happens. I know it's in, in suggestion from DM, and he thanks me again here for 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 it. And I'm just like Les, thank you so very much for being a great friend and doing this. I really appreciate it. So good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Les is a good guy. Yeah. So, all right, let's, uh, we got like, we got 20 minutes. So, uh, we will redo this whole, all four books next week. Okay. That's all we'll do next week. We're going to, we're going to talk about all the publications for next week. Less is more, definitely. So, shout out, uh, announcements. I want to announce it's part of this because announcements, are com- these announcements are coming right off events that actually happened there. Does that make sense? Right? These announcements, I, I created a lot of this stuff and made some decisions right there. So let's talk about, now I got a normal game tomorrow night, and that's normal Headhunters. We'll have a nice, normal, fun game with the guys tomorrow night. Uh, that'll be a blast, but let's talk about Sunday night. It's Women's Month, right? So this is what I got. All right. DM's roundtable, Gavin number 293. DM's roundtable, discussion number 16. The next great generation of women DMs. Okay? So I got Darling Bones, Myriad, and Minnesota Muse joining us for a discussion as they've all really started DMing, maybe except for Darling, all in the last year. So I want to talk about how what, what what's what's going on in the community, how this is such a wonderful thing, and how this expands our the content that we all love, more viewing channels, more great games to watch, and more great DMs, which there's never enough DMs. And I'm so proud and honored that um, they're coming on to talk about it with me and Anna. Hopefully, Anna is um, well enough at that time. If not, I'll I'll get another I'll get another host. Um, well, thank you, Jeff. Ashley, so excited to be on. Uh, that's great to hear. So, very cool. 
Uh, that's okay, Rob. There'll be another. It's Easter. I have something at a, a, a family member's house, but I'll be back in time. I know it's Easter evening. It's tough, but uh, there'll always be the vid for it. So, And if you can lurk here and there, um, that would be a great to show. So that is the first thing that really came about. I'm sitting there with everyone, and, and Bones is talking about how she started DMing. And uh, I'm like, I know Mary, I just started DMing too. Wow, this can I get a fourth guest? And then I know Ashley just started DMing on Guild Superior's channel, so like, boom, it was it was a no brainer. I know Little Bird wants to start DMing again too soon, and this is just like, let's keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Men and women alike, everyone, keep it rolling on DMing. So this came from Gary Khan, the first of many things that are end days. This is not you know, everything I have banners for is completely set in stone. Okay. All right, so that's the first thing. There's Tim, the ever mysterious. And Darling says hi to you. Hello. Yep. All right, that's, <laughs> that's first. So, Will. Yo, what's up? You and I talked mm -hmm. about my idea. Why don't we talk? talk? I, I, I thought it was a great idea. Thank you. You, you should. Uh, I've, I, you know, he doesn't remember. He's a busy guy, and I understand. <laughs> I mentioned this before you did. years ago. To you us. did, you did. But you know me, yeah. I was paranoid back then. It was just Tim and me. That was it. That's yeah. all I've ever had DMing, except for except for a Chaosium one. Uh, you know, the one time where he had the, one of the head guys. Right. I'm sorry, go ahead. Like I, the but, danger he knows is better than the danger he, danger knows. he yes. doesn't know. That's yes. true. That's true. Oh, but Patrick, it, thank you. The uh, <laughs> oh, nice. The uh, um talking about other people running on your on your channel and you were talking about uh kurt it's curtis that's going to run the champions right oh she was i'm not talking <laughs> about okay it's somebody else gonna run a different delete that <laughs> get us over three and i'm giving this out tonight get us to the over three and i'll give this out tonight we're almost there boom Someone will get this great events guide. So, sorry, Will, you're not in here. I wish, you know. I only... It's all right. So, Bob's in there, yeah. though. I'd have been shocked if I was in there. Are you kidding me? Well, yeah, a lot of people in there. So, go ahead. I'm sorry. So, and, and, Rob, and I, I offered good. To, to, to run something, and, and Jay <laughs> decided that that sounded like a good idea to him. <laughs> Who'd want to do that? So I know, right? Because the first thing that came out of my mouth was, "It's like, hey, I know I can run something to get Tim, then I'll have him be my yes." <laughs> so like here, said. <laughs> here's the announcement: as long as Tim can do it in two Saturdays, the first of my guest DMs on the channel. Usually, it's going to be a Saturday morning. Sometimes rare, it'll be Saturday evening. A Saturday morning event. We're going to have a bunch of yous. I know Little Bones is going to be on. Okay, that's one. I know Curtis Cable will be on hopefully the end of April with a Champions game. Old superhero game. Okay, yeah, that's that another one. Awesome. Will is going to be running a game for myself and Tim. And the Minnesota Muse, Ashley, will be on as well playing in that game. From Guild Superior. So there you go. There's three. And then I'm assuming you may have someone else, Will, for that, right? Yeah, I've got I've got other players online. Cool. So awesome. So and 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 after talking with Tim, we we decided upon addition. Fifth. <laughs> and and it's it's gonna be it's get oh, oh no we're we're gonna we're gonna alter that okay right to, to be decided to be decided. I don't care the addition, just as long as you get that one type of character you want. Oh okay, my god, that's good. As long as we Josh, get him the character, Tim he has wants. been maxing fifth edition. And no, uh, I can say this though, that it is going to be an all halfling cast. Oh, cool! <laughs> and it is going to be set in the village of Willow Isle that I just did. The yes, in the Scala, um, thank you. In 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 the Rushmores. Give me a second. I'll find out and bring it up. I know so, I have it on my computer. You you can you can go to uh, whenever he's up. You, you can go and you can get the guide to the village of uh, here we Little go. Isle. Look at that! Uh, Boom! On the Patreon I am, for free. 
I am genetically predisposed to running halflings. My my first character was a halfling. Free download off of, of Patreon. My father had a great halfling, so. Um, <laughs> am I allowed to play Guardian Fifth Edition? You totally are. Uh, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm playing a halfling. Guardian you cop out, you can. What? <laughs> I'm playing a halfling Guardian Fifth Edition. <laughs> Name Mitch Cumstein. No, I'm, oh, I'm kidding. There, I'm kidding. Did he get uh, caught uh, <laughs> night putting? Yes, my, putting guy, my night. guy's name is Half Assed. <laughs> Half Assed. <laughs> so there you so, go. So, yes, it will be a halfling adventure. It will add, and, okay, because we're going to have a, a, a great, huge, huge Greyhawk connection to it. I mean, besides the fact it's in the Rushmores. Right. Who's, whose tower's in the Rushmores? There's Ve a, a, I'll Vecna. Give it a trivia. Vecna's. Oh Robert. great! Someone's gonna get an eyeball. Is it really, Maybe. or is it just merely legend and myth? I see, and who knows? Maybe that's what you'll be trying to find out. I don't know. Is, is there any uh, official lore on Vecna's Tower? Not much. Only from the card. Only from the uh, the uh, graphic novel. Is it? I thought there was a like one of those paragraphs in in uh, Jim Ward's. Uh, Almost adventure. through five. Oh, is that where it is? Uh, yeah, I think so, I think that's yeah. one of the like the places of mystery. Okay, or something. is that is Actually that where it places belongs it in the Rushmore's? to his cousin? Yep, Heck it's in the Rushmore's. That's where they place. That's where his old tower was. So, yeah. so Jack like, Vance, his cousin Jack, his Jack, his cousin Jack. Yeah, Jack, Vance. Vance. Cousin Jack is still Heck, there. Heck no. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, um, yeah. Will is the first. Well, it's the first of many this year. I'm going to open up my channel to those I trust in the community and that I've great uh, that I love to start both of them. to start. Both can of them. I, can I stream from it then? Or no, out? I'm straight out. No, no, I just. Well, you need a private no. audition first, Jack. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, you know what? I got a deal for you. That badge has three letters on it next year. Then you can DM on the channel. If, Go to what? <laughs> Go to jail. <laughs> Go to jail. Do not cross. Do not cross. <laughs> you know, I am going to I am gonna run more games next year. I don't know if I'm going to cool. even play. I'm going to try and get another uh, uh, Carlos game, of course. Cool. What, but, what I see uh, a lot of people doing, Will, is they like do a consistent time for their games so they don't have to think in, in wily and crazy ways of like, where am I? So, like, if just either a run night games or run morning or that's run what afternoon, I did. and yeah. then well, there you go. And yeah, then I you ran go all at nine every day where you're when you're free because that's when Jay said he ran. He said it worked good. It, well, which made sense. He said I run in the morning and then I got the rest of the day do whatever. The well, hell it's like, a seminar. It worked the great. Problem I have is that people don't run them early enough. <clears throat> no, not for you. I ran at nine a.m. Eight early so. you can start. <laughs> hey. The reason I did that too is because I was anticipating drinking and like hanging out in a bar kind of area and whatnot, and I didn't because I had food poisoning. So, <laughs> so I missed two evenings. What did you those. eat? I don't fish know, sticks. man. I have no idea. Sticks. Yeah, some. I don't know if it, it was the fish. <laughs> here's the thing: it it's could have been. Fish. It could have been at my hotel because they had a continental breakfast. It was on Thursday. So it could have been there. It was. And it's it nothing was. more continental than dysentery. Oh, it was Thanks, continental, Tim, all right. Yeah. Oh, oh, my man. God. T Tim well, is always on a roll, man. We can always count on, on Tim for uh, for some fun stuff. Now, uh, see, Phantom's saying a, a chicken sandwich. I had a chicken sandwich, so it could have been that, too. I had a chicken sandwich on Wednesday. And Thursday is when it said. Oh, well, so Anna and I bit into raw chicken the one day at lunch. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, at the cafe. That was one one of my uh, thing. I don't want to say at that. At the one. Grand Cafe. Yeah, yeah. And it was raw. Whoa. It was raw. Uh, who else was sitting that, with us? I think that place uh, is really nice. I think, I think you, sent, you sent it back, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think Yoav Neve was sitting with us that day. Chicken tartar. Yeah, so you were there too. That's right. Rob was there too. Phantom was there as well. It was no. It was Lee, Phantom, Anna and me that day. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. I, we love we love the cafe. Yeah, uh, I, I thought it was good too. That one time was bad. Who knows? They had a bad cook. I had lunch with uh, Von Moku there. I liked it. Very cool. And it's like kind of the most affordable of the fancier food, right? Once you get off the yeah off of the fa the 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 the, oh. the main menu. Thank you all. Well, but wait, to... but wait. 
if you go into 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 uh, Lake Geneva, they have a you got it a sit down old school pizza hut. Thanks, Chad. I oh, saw yeah, that. Really? I was like, oh yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm coming here. <laughs> Yo, that pizza, that, that Italian place, uh, Curtis and Brett and Jimmy Duffy and uh, I'm sorry, I, I always forget uh, Rad, uh, the German gentleman. Roz. Roz. We went to that the one night. Man, that was awesome. Oh, that was which one? Yeah. The the pizza uh, the Italian place that's right around the corner. Oh, oh that was in the about. Grand. No, it was that no. that old cafe or something like that or something. Uh, yeah, next door cafe, man, or whatever. That was next thin. door pub. NDP. Next door pub. That was it. It was awesome. That was awesome. That's so. been there forever. That's where they used to go when they were at TSR. That and uh, is Gandalf your son? Hi, Gandalf. Gandalf one two two. Not sure that's uh, oh my son Gandalf one two two or Tim's I, son. I don't know who he are you. He stole that name. Oh, is it it's your not son? My, not my son. My son's twelve. Oh, okay. Uh, He's more like Randolph. Okay, sounds good. You oh. know what, Big Mac? I'm sure it is. He did the same. Yo, have oh, it is you have. Cool, yeah. dude. You because have. you, you know why? Because they're all still in business. Uh, yeah, most of them. Over? There's the yeah. Chinese place. Uh, was it Hengwing or something? And yeah, uh, it's great to see it, man. That's that, some people were like, "Oh, then... we got Chinese." I'm like, "Where'd you get from them?" And then I'm like, "Shoot, that's the place that Skip Williams is always talking about." Like when he was used to be working at TSR, uh, where yep. he was used to, like when he's in Lake Geneva, that's his go-to. Well, and think uh, about it: when you're designing a game, right? That doesn't happen overnight, so you're probably doing it. Love you, no, man. Thanks. Many for months, all and that's support, many all lunches. Night, kind words. There's all kinds of places. You know, you're smoking, Tim. Just letting you know. He's a lot, he's allowed to smoke. Oh, it's incense. That's oh. cool, Rob. So, um, <laughs> what's the title? Do we know what the title? <laughs> Saturday, April thirteenth. Unless Tim bones us for some reason. Which could happen because that's why he's ever mysterious, right? <laughs> so yes, yeah, so take a look at that face. I'll what's get a, you. What's the I'll name? I'll get you the. Okay, and I, I'll put it. I'll up get there. you the title uh, okay. within the next couple of days. Little bones, sure. hopefully within the next month. The in May is my lucky number. Little bones in May. Uh, Curtis, the end of April for a champions game. There you go. All right, three times uh, in the next two months. Well, at least we'll have special, and we're going to do this all year. Let right. me know if uh, if the spot opens up in that Champions game. It may. If it does, I'll let you know. Yeah. Is it set in Greyhawk? Champions? <laughs> yeah. Jay, I went two in June. We will throw. Yeah? Okay. It will throw us. I'm on vacation for two Saturdays in June, dude. You always pick the worst months. The 15th and 22nd. The best I'm month down, for me because I don't get vacation. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm down in Florida for two those two Saturdays. Well, then pick the other ones. Wait a minute. Are you going to Disneyland or something? No, we're going to Emory Isle um, off uh, near south of Tampa. What so is... everyone, everyone wants – we're going to run late tonight. Does anyone give a shit? I know we'll may have to go. I, am I, I will have to head it right. here in like probably six, seven minutes. Okay. I'm incensed. Isn't yeah. it like four in the afternoon for you, Will? Aren't you on the West Coast now? Yeah, he's two hours. Well, he's got. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm in the Mountain Time Zone, if you to be correct. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> that's funny. So everyone knows I got laid off of Wilson Art. I'm gonna call him out uh, on, in uh, October, but I got half your severance. So I said, screw it. I paid for a new heating air air conditioning unit in my house cash, and oh, yeah. my wife and I are like, screw it. We're gonna get this awesome place down in Florida. Cat, you know, we're gonna pay for it. For, for our vacation. Nice. That's what we did. And it's awesome. I'll show you all pictures down the road. It's got a putting green in the back freaking yard of the house. So we're like, did you, you say know, a hunting green? A or putting, a putting yeah, green? yeah, it's got a hunting green for you. What's a hunting green it's, if the. Yeah, it's got a full out. size uh, Connect Four for the kids. It's got all. So my son's bringing his best friend. It's going to be awesome. I've got a week. I'm just going to relax down there. So that sounds yeah. nice. Uh, yeah. GM David B. My corporate headquarters is in Norcross now. So you never know what will happen. I may come to Dragon Con because I may I may weasel away to be down there at my corporate, uh, which which is right there. So we're out of Atlanta. So yeah. all right, what, what's that? Wait, get what did I say? You better be writing while you are down there, Troy. <laughs> Troy, I had another license. Get him. Get him, Troy. I had get another, him, Troy. All right, 
I had another nice long talk with Ed. If I'm babbling too bad, all right. Sorry, I'm just being mean. So no I'm not no bashing more. anyone. Because would I do that to my own sponsor? Yeah, I probably would. So there's two versions of this. There's the black and white version, 300 copies, right? Which is nice. Which is nice. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, those are colors. Jeez, I've got three colors. That's color too. Where are all the black and white ones? Game away. Yeah, here's the black and white one. Okay. Inside, the inside cover is color. That's color. And But this, as you can see, is a little dark, right? Then there's the one that Troy, one. Troy Lee, and Norker did. And I got limited ones of these. I gave these out and signed them. And voila, <laughs> look at that. Look at the freaking kumquat curve. I mean, just one wonderful. Impressive. Steven Chenault saw this. And he goes, wow. This is awesome. David Chenault started to talk to me about locations he wants to place in Altamira. Including a place called the Trolls Den. So it went really, really I, I want to say thank you to those that helped me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it Troy, Lee, Norker, and Ed Greenwood, who pushed my ass to, to get this done. And Troy especially, who really whipped, whipped my ass and helped me out a lot. Um, to get, it was worth every minute of, of it. Troy, let me know if I need to show up at his worth house every and minute. actually literally kick his ass. Yes. I oh. Do but, yes. <laughs> ass beating by proxy. I like it. Troy, yeah, real ass beating. Is that? You don't understand. This man... You, if there's ever, if you're ever in an alley, an alley, a dark alley, there's no <laughs> one else you want in the world except the ever mysterious Tim. Because that person, Jeremy, could be a pretty important dude. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, that Tim will rip your limbs off. That's true. He's trained. Yeah, Tim will. Tim will not kill you. He'll go to the pain if you remember Princess Bride. <laughs> yeah, he's the man. Howling so. in freakish misery. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not calling Ed. Ed. Uh, Ed was a. All right, we'll get, we got something for that too. All right, want to do that next? Here, we'll do, we'll do that next. More announcements. Got the yeah. village of Willow Isle. Yeah, we'll get that. Yeah. More announcements. Yeah. Next, a week from Sunday in April. Gavin two ninety four. Ed Greenwood returns. Factions and organizations of Greyhawk and the realms. Okay, so we got Ed back already. And Ed reached out to me to do this one. He's like, I want to come on a show. When can I come on? I can't do I can't do the upcoming Sunday, which is good because we had raised something. I can do Sunday, April 7th. And I'm like, boom, more Ed. So we had Ed coming back. Very quickly. All right. Hopefully he's had a chance to take a nap or two. Yes. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. So he's uh he, he's like yeah. He is a force of nature. He is. Mm -hmm. So Ed, Ed will be back very soon. Two weeks. Right. Ed is the awesome. Yeah, less than two weeks. Ed will be back on the channel, and I can't wait for that. All right. More what announcements. Else you got there? More announcements. <laughs> what, are you tired or something? You got to go somewhere? It's hard being a host, isn't it? No, it's not. I want to talk. You've been talking. Go for it, Josh. Talk. Hey, right. before you start, we I'm going to leave. Yeah, let's get Will in there before he has to leave. What do you want to say, no, Cozy Will? Oh, I, I I just wanted to say goodbye. <laughs> that, that we'll see you on well, April thirteenth. Wait, wait Will. Denied. I'll talk to you. I do have so uh if you want to talk product wise, um, yes. so uh Dragon's Horde Adventure is now in print. I redid someone the, link his Patreon, please. The this is on the drive through. I'll link it before I go. The, Thank you. And then the uh, Echoes of a Dark Past, I redid the for the print format of that because the original one was, I'm an old man, I have a hard time seeing, but that print was too big. So I I, I put it down to a slightly more manageable uh, font yeah. size. So that is, is, is done. And then, thank you, Troy. And then uh, basically Thanks, uh, the... Uh, Dimry guidebook will be coming out relatively soon. Nice. So, is and, that going to be like a Kickstarter or just no? That's going to be free on the Patreon. Oh my gosh, you're not going to so, because it's it's okay. full of IP. So that one's oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Patreon. So you should I be. You were. 
if you're not you're not a patron all right so if you're not a patreon of wills if you're not a patreon of anna's you're oh yeah because i'm always telling you they i was always yelling carlos's at you sometimes you put in like five updates a day with new five yeah new that things. was a long time ago, i'd be though. like i'd be like <laughs> slow down be, man i jeremy kids game three day has another patreon too if you, I mean, if you yeah. it was great it was all those all those uh it was a classes. you know what it was is like i didn't it didn't even occur to me i was basically it's like i've got all this stuff that i had from my blog and so, like, I was transferring things. And so I'm just, let me throw all this stuff out here. I want people to be able to get at it here. I, it doesn't even occur to me it's that great. people are getting dinged every time I was posting something. I want you, I want to figure out how to, like, plug that into one of the digital tools <laughs> so I can just right. use it. <laughs> so that and then uh, I am going to be I, – something I am doing that would is the next print project. I already got the uh, – it's in layout, is I took all the spells – from the wizards that I did. And I'm currently changing IP and there's going to be, it's uh, right now, I think it's, it's 150 spells, both uh, fifth edition and OSR. So it's in both formats. That's awesome. And, uh, and basically it's the new circle of eight because you can't copyright that. Right. And so uh, <laughs> and just, just changing some some names and, and what have you. So right, that, well, that that will actually be out uh, sooner than later. So, so what we'll do is we'll download it and we'll add, incorporate some of those spells into our campaign and on the old school. No problem. There you go. There you go. Of course. So. I want them first so I can use them against Jay's character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... can be bought. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ESPN 8 Ocho. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well, I appreciate you coming on, man. Will, yeah, will. not a problem. <laughs> ESPN the Ocho. Yes, we'll see. You, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Yes, I'll talk to you before then. So, but sounds good. Bye, man. everybody. Have a good night. See it. Bye. Adios, Will. It's great meeting you. <laughs> great meeting you too, man. Go ahead, Josh. Before we uh, finish this up, we'll let Josh and Tim talk, and I'll do one more <clears throat> huge shout out. Uh, yeah, this is gonna go long, right? It's nine or three. So go for ten minutes long. Yeah. All right. So, uh, first of all, uh, thank you, everyone uh, who joined us together at Gary Khan from the GMs running the events, the GMs being the backbone of Gary Khan, all the players and and, uh, and guests coming in. Uh, Tim, we'd love to would love to have you there. You know, it would be so much fun to see you. Uh, and that's basically my, my home show at this point. Um and, you know, it's a great place to have, uh, you know, to, to call like a home show because, I mean, it's where it all began, right? Absolutely. Uh, it was in Lake Geneva. Um, I strongly advise anyone who gets a chance next year to get into a Bronstein game. Dave Arneson, you know, took the, uh, you know, the rules for fantasy stuff. And what Dave Wesley was doing, this game he created called Bronstein, where you played an individual character. And, you know, put that peanut butter and chocolate together, right? And this is what he brought to Gary, this idea of kind of playing at Bronstein. And, sorry, Braunstein, because David Wesley Wesley will correct you <laughs> okay. uh, if you say Bronstein. It's Braunstein, because it's a big brown drinking thing. Uh, so uh, you want to touch a little bit of history, like you want to touch what was D and D before D and D. You played that, and then you and then you know, and then there's the AL room, right? The Adventurers League room, where if you want to touch the newest stuff, with like that uh, thing of worlds that they did with Ed and Keith and all the they all played like and Luke and they all played these iconic of each different campaign world character, uh, and it was kind of in an interactive, so the players affected how the the game that Ed and everyone played in then resulted in some very new stuff. Uh, very exotic um, and coolness. Nice and the Wizards guy. folks were there. They were so nice. Um, you know, these are the people that are working, that they're that are trying to do the do the work. You know, they're they're the people you want to meet. You know, it was like you know all just you know name the designers and they were there, right? Um, and you know they were like getting into games and stuff and just been and joining in, and it was really nice. And all the other vendors that were there from you know having kelsey dion you know the 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 uh shadow dark person and and um you know the trolls at uh, troll lord games were there in force right uh i'm gonna miss somebody and then someone's gonna get it no you know, no it happens all the time man. evil Don't genius games were there Don't with their with it. their everyday heroes 
so, uh, which and everyone what, else, oh, which is what, Ma- well, Matt, Matt Everhart and, you know, over on Gax works is <laughs> using that for his, uh, um, uh, diesel, uh, diesel punk game, uh, uh, strange and grim. I think they're using everyday heroes as their basis. Uh, Penny Dragon, of course, was there, uh, which was, you know, that's Star Gallant King. Guy that... Were they there? I don't know. Uh, who? Cal- uh, uh, Lord Constance Count Line Names. I don't remember that name. I, I, I don't know. Dungeon Dudes were definitely there. And, of course, Gooey Cube, where, you know, Luke and, and the Gooey Cubes finished up their quick Kickstarter over the end. Through the year, there's been some people who have been. I mean, because this is such a huge, you know, multi-week, uh, you know, event, we had a lot of planning that went into it, right? We And we had, you know, we had on the line all the time, every time we had Kintori Cat, who was, who was in the audience there, yep. uh, doing everything. So it was communications, it was event scheduling, it was everything. Without her, I don't know that I could have, you know, made it. And... I would also add Lee to that as well because Lee was even scheduling events because there's a lot. There's 2,400 events. Well, Natalie kicked some butt too, man. During the convention, uh, we saw some people really rise up uh, and and take charge. Um, Natalie and JD uh, and Eric uh, Trimble. Um, Eric is normally on the receiving end of much of the brunt of hell through the year. When people are saying, what do you mean they're sold out? Don't you know who I am? And I'm like, you know, I'm like reading this stuff and I'm just like, you know, it's yeoman's hard. work, Eric, yeoman's work. Yeah. Uh, so, so true. yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, Balfrin came to his first show. He said it was his person. last one, too. Yeah. Uh, it was, it, you know, it's hard. It's it's hard. He uh, uh, took on a role. Uh, that was not something he'd been doing and uh, basically ran the exhibitor hall, uh, which was a hole we had uh, in terms of people. And uh, it sounds like a hole we'll have again. But thank you, Bao, for, uh, for, for taking on such a big responsibility. And you did really well. We we're really proud of you. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to forget people. Uh, I mean, it's it, it's, okay. it just, it's so many people. Like, you know, I could easily have forgotten Antiquitous because he paired with Je- Jeff is Jeff seriously is being a little upset in chat. Bash. Yeah. So I haven't gotten to you yet then. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, we, you know, um, a- you know, Alex showed up and pe- paired up with Mike Gygax, uh, Heidi's, Heidi's boy. And, um, Mikey's an adult, right? I mean, he's, you know, he's got kids of his own at this point. Uh, and, you know, they just took care of stuff, right? I'm like, and so I didn't have to think of Alex a second time because I'm like, you'll take care of this? And he's like, I've got this, Josh. And that was like the 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 theme of the convention is to just say, I've got this, Josh, and wave me off. And then I stopped thinking about things. And it was wonderful because I was severely overloaded, uh, especially through the year too. And if it weren't for all the people like, you know, Kat and Lee and Trevor from uh, the very progressive RPG uh, Alliance convention, uh, it would have been, yeah, it, it was tough. Um, Bash, you no, know, he, <clears throat> he did lots. I, you know, like it's I already mentioned him, actually. Yeah. Remember when I said I had a major problem with the table? I'm like, they said, yep. Bash, throw yourself on the first. Uh, First, whatever table that you can find, first open gaming table you can find, and that that was because that was bad. I had nowhere else to put these people for gaming, uh, and yeah, and he, he he took care of that. Um, Kit and her partner uh, just helping out in the uh, and my wife, of course. I got to remember some of the big ones were my wife jumped in and and helped out in merch in a big way. Uh, God bless her. She was uh, she was very vital, and you know. <laughs> She only yelled at me. Seem... By the way, she only yelled at me twice. Oh, that's it. Yeah, once oh, down right. in the vendor hall. So yeah. What were you doing? I was like, how come there are no Gagcon sixteen shirts left? We sold out. Yeah, I was like, he was shot. What day did you go down there? Saturday, because I. What else am I going to get a chance to get down? Down. Don't worry about it. I, instead, Saturday? I got this to give out Sunday night. 
All right. Yeah, the Beholder dice set with the eye. That the eyes. I don't know if you can see yeah. it on the camera, but yeah. The no, eye yeah. Eyeballs in gonna... them. See the eyeballs? Do they, rolling around do, they, they, do they float? Yeah, it's they, really they, cool. They... It's really cool. Someone's going to win them Sunday yeah. night on the, on the camera. I haven't even so started. Grits is the big question. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They're weighted. Yeah. Um, and lastly, but not leastly, uh, the Gygaxes, you know, Heidi and, and Eric just always being so nice. Oh, it looks back on. Good, look, good and to then, see. Oh. oh. Thanks, Rob, for doing Ever Luke. Appreciate it. And well, then, never mind. I'm not going <laughs> to get to that. <laughs> what timing that was. I, I was about to, to hit the Gygax family, but now that they're listening, um, <laughs> you know, Sabrina and, Mir, uh, and Amira for hanging out with my kids, uh, you know, be and Sabrina were thick as thieves, and uh, oh, cool, Luke, that's awesome. And, I appreciate and, that. Um, oh, <laughs> and then because um, you know we're yeah. really, re really, Miriam just was like large and in charge this year. Uh, it that's was fantastic. really great to see her uh, just just doing all the things she did. And then tell her uh, hello. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah. Very and nice then, number. and then Very finally, nice the two people that really don't get enough thanks because I, I look at some of the things in the background and I'm watching, and I see how much Bushra and Luke do. For they the were world. everywhere. I mean, I looked around and they were like, "It's not just that; it's through the year. They are yeah. working their, their. You know, I mean, you know, it's like a yeah. like like a like a swan. You know, the gri gliding gracefully on top of the water, and then their legs are going like this." You know, they, they do so much and they, they don't get enough thanks for all, you know, for trying to just making this this memorial event come together and just be such a, a warm and uh, wonderful place for so many people where, you know, I mean, yeah, we're, we're struggling with some space issues now. You know, more people want to come than we can fit in the in the grand. And that's the biggest place in Lake Geneva. And no one wants to leave. Um, but you know, I mean, we're, we're, it's where we're at right now. So if you are going to be, uh, hoping to come to Gary Khan, please do buy your badges early As, you know, Tim, buy the badge because you know what? You can always resell it. There's always people that are going to want to come that even if, you know, you can't, he's not uh, going. Okay. Well, it's no way that the ever mysterious Tim, he, I'll get him to page first and then what we'll do. Uh Oh, is he going to get a gun? What's he doing? No, I was going to go get my Whip. tongue tool that he made for uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. The penetrator. The penetrator. I forgot he tool. made you the penetrator tongue tool. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, yeah. It Mike, used to sit right there, but I've been reading. I've had to put up this for forty-four years. No, Mike yeah, Disney 44 years. has the uh, has a broad blade knife tongue tool version. Oh, my gosh. There's so, several versions. Uh, to Tim, wrap things I up, I plan there. on making I plan on making those available for merch. Look, this is what the military does to to you know a high ranking officer. This is what warps. Well, I guess you were warped before you went in the military, right, Tim? Yeah, you've always been warped. You've always been crazy. <laughs> you've always. Yeah, I, th I think we yeah. already know this. Yeah, I think yeah, we all absolutely. know this. This is not. Yeah. So dude. just yeah, it, uh, to everyone who didn't come, you know, uh, <laughs> please come this next year. Gosh. I really want to see you. You know, everyone from like Patrick and Troy to. Everyone else, you know, you, you guys know we, it's it's just so it's just so great to just be able to hang with friends, yeah, old dice with friends and uh, and make new friends too because Quite a that's one time. of the things. Jay, you've met new people there that you never knew, right? Absolutely, absolutely. That it's just a great way to you know, make, and you don't have to be a professional gamer. You can just come and have you, you know. I would say some people. I mean, yeah, you is going to be my first convention. First, yeah. <laughs> so. We had, this is a guess, last year about 20 people from the community. My guess is 60 this year in the community. Buy your badges early, please. It's gonna Buy, yes. Do not wait. Uh, you know, do not wait at all. I got, we, we'll get you, uh, you know, I will, we, you know, I'm on everyone's butt. Like I was, uh, you know, trying to get everyone to go, you know. From Eric to Robert Hartley to that to anyone in the community, if you can get there, I tried to push. Go, 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 go. I, I, I don't think anyone, unless they got real sick, did not have a great time. And so I am already excited and looking forward. Some to people next who year. got real sick still had a great time. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm tearing up again, man. It, it was just, it was so awesome this year. It really was. It was. It was. It, yeah. It's a thing. Yeah. All right. So, so lastly, what is else is coming up? I don't have a banner for this because I don't have a date. 
I'm going to show a picture, though, if I can find it real quick. So we all know we had a Slav Squad Squad game, right? Something momentous oh, happened Carl. at the very end of the game. I'm not sure if a lot of you know what, what that happened, was. Jay. We're going to talk about it real quick. All right. So here, here it is. The le- uh, and this was this was so much fun with, you know, the Slavs, a couple signups, and a couple ads in. But like with Eric Mona there, it's just yeah, yeah, absolutely. There you are. There you are, uh, Justinia. Right there in front, man. Uh, and I know you had a great time, and so thank you for participating. And what a what a wonderful game and group this was. Also, the boardrooms. I'm helping out anyone there. The boardrooms are the best place to stream a game. You got a room by yourself, plenty of space. Tell people about oh, the boardrooms. Okay. I don't Everyone know asks me for a boardroom. Oh, everyone, everyone. All I want's asks. one. Yeah. And then they'll and then when I say no, then they go ask Luke or they go ask Skip right. or they ask. Just Dave, give me give then... me all I asked was for one day, just like last year. That's it. So. The thing, at the end of the adventure, the, Sl- the Slavs, right? Two of them converted to Ralishaz. <laughs> Who, Vinarium, wouldn't? Vinarium, Who uh, wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Vinarium was on a roll. Secondly, as you can see at the bottom, Bones' his character, Devin the bandit, and Kaza- uh, and then Myriad's character, Kazara the half-orc, female fighter, both you know, pro- professed their love for each other. Okay, and that's why they're holding hands down here. So Eric goes, Marion Ford says, we have to have a wedding. Uh, can I pres- you know, preside over your wedding? The priest of Ralish has. And they're like, yes. So this is what well, is happening. you ha- know marriage is a gamble. <laughs> yes, exactly. So <laughs> this is what's going to happen. Yeah, this is going to be one of the best. I cannot wait for this game. I cannot. So to make it better, we're going to do a Slav Squad Squad two drink minimum crossover event at the same time. All right? So we're going to have the following. I'm inviting the following players. We have Myriad, Bones, Darling Creep Show, Eric Mona on the side of the Slavs. Okay? The invites. Invites out Ed Greenwood, Tony Winslow Brill, Eric Mengi, Eric Boyd. Okay? Those are the eight players. Now, if someone can't make it, we can go down to six. I think we'll be fine. But we're going to try and coordinate. Eric has to be there, number one. So I got Eric and Ed on the same Saturday weekend, and then make sure everyone else can make it. All the slots have to be there. And Eric, What's that? Do you know who the bad guys are already? Yes. I've already got the whole scenario worked out. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I don't know if I need your help on it. but (laughs) Yes. How many specials would it take for a red wedding? I will tell you this. The probably... Come on, you know what I'm going to do. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Someone will say the following quote. Something to this paraphrasing. Be careful what you wish for. Because it may come true. Okay? So, it's going to be... Darling, so not, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an awesome game. So, I'm looking by the end of May... To have this game run before I go on vacation in June. That's the goal. When they have a date, I will be announcing a shit out of this everywhere. All right? So it'll be just called The Wedding. That'll be the title of the adventure. All right? That's my big announcement. What, so what all the that... color wedding. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a lot there of will be, I think. There will be a surprise cameo from <laughs> someone who's watching tonight, too. That's all I'll say as well. All right? There will also be another surprise cameo of about 10 seconds from someone in the audience, and you'll understand it, and you'll laugh your butt off on that, too. So we got a lot going on for this. All of this came together. All the stuff came together. All the new content because of what happened to Gary Khan. Not so, what happened to Gary Khan stays at Gary Khan. Yeah, well, what, what, uh, Gary Khan, yeah, what a wonderful, never uh, I, I just can't say enough to uh, Bukra and, not and, if you're streaming. And, and Luke <laughs> and everyone else involved on how wonderful it was this year. I'm, I'm so honored to be there for the full 11, 10, 11 days, and uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. So, uh, thank you. Any final thoughts, Tim, Josh? And we're going to do the giveaway. We'll give this away. Sounds and then, fun. And second winner, it sounds it, it's a blast. Second, we'll get the art one. was by Errol Otis, and uh, the in the head you can see the uh, what a fun the time. visage of uh, or in the in that crystal uh, ball thing. There's like kind of like this visage of Gary 
Gygax in, in it, and um, and and I think Lee did pretty much most of the rest. Yeah, one. Just, it's amazing how everyone everyone stepped it up a level this year. Everyone went all out. Everyone I know who was there went all out. Gaming, playing, helping with, you know, it's just, I can't say enough. Cannot say enough for everyone. So, hey, Brian, good to see you sublime. It's been a while. Hope, hope you're doing well. Tim, I'll get you the page definitely and we'll go from there. Yes. I'm bringing my, so I don't know if you heard Luke or I'm, I'm attempting, my 14 year old, I think I'm bringing him next year. So. I'm looking forward to doing that. Yeah, I think yeah, you may have been on it earlier. So, yep, Tim is a great person. I've known Tim my, almost my entire life. So, yes, <laughs> we've known each other longer than we than half, well, more than half our lives. I mean, long, way longer we each been married. Way long, way longer than we've each you know. But forty four years of, D of playing D and D together. So, I've known you longer than I've known my wife. Yeah, absolutely. So, what comes first? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call for signups. <laughs> so, second winner. Sorry, you're not going to get an events guide because I'm keeping one. I have two of them. So, ah, oh, thanks, great. Uh, thanks, Patrick. We're going for great. I World of Greyhawk is an option. Patrick, you're insane, man. This is a great. The Marklands is back out. Marklands reprint. We got treasures as well. A whole bunch of uh, a Necromancer game ones, a Shokanth, uh, Lizard King, uh, freaking uh, Inverness, all sorts of wonderful. Hey, Geek Dice, good to see you. Bob, dancing out of Baba, ha Baba Yaga's here. Oh, my gosh. A Scarlet Brotherhood. Patrick, you are nuts, man. Patrick is the quintessential awesome person. Yes, well, yes, he is. And we have many of them in the community. Many wonderful people that uh, I call dear friends. Uh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop, dear friends. I heard it. I had to hit myself. Stop myself. I'm still, dude. I'm not even talk. We'll talk about it off camera, man. I almost knocked myself out <laughs> once to not cry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Last call. Let's do the giveaways. We'll find someone to raid into. You guys can give me uh, you guys can give me options tonight. I preferred it from someone who I'm already got on as a as a I'm following. So, but you can let me know. I focus this on. I did 20 sides last time. Um, as your attorney, I know Curtis as my attorney. I uh, Curtis saved my butt a couple times, by the way, <laughs> multiple times. Uh, he also almost <laughs> caused you to die as well. Where? When you went toe to toe with him? Oh yeah, that's your big dummy. That's hey, Legends of Adventures is on. No. Why not? I like reciprocal raids. Okay. Little Bones is on. Is she? Show it's more. called I'm she Back from Gary Con. Dude, I have literally I have 40 on here. Yeah, all right. Bones it is then. She Bones put it makeup is. makeup on earlier for something. Bones it is. Bones, our few one of our future administrators yeah, of Power it's Bones. of Gygax. It's gotta be it's gotta, it's gotta be Bones tonight, everyone, because Bones is coming on Sunday night for the women, uh, the legendary new women uh, that are DMing in the community. So for that, uh, um, uh, be afraid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, especially you. I mean, they love me, so you know they're they're killing you, Tim. Just kidding. I'm the one dying. <laughs> Although Anna tried her tried her ass off, didn't she? All right, here we go. Closing it out. Yeah, but you kept uh, healing yourself because you were a cleric, and you're like, "Oh, no, I did not. No, 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 no. Brett, Brett, and Curtis will tell you I did not heal myself if, at all the entire adventure. I don't want to hear that. Not one time did I heal myself. When you're, when you're on trial, you shouldn't testify. You should let witnesses. And I'm listening to Josh. Yeah, there were people that were there. <laughs> I would did not heal myself one sink, stinking time in that tower, of Gygax. But you healed those protecting you. There was no one. It was all. It he was, was staying toward, as Anna said, he stayed toward the back. I went all the way out. Of the, the dungeon. Oh, stop, man. He stayed oh toward God. the back of I, the dungeon. First group. winner a, gets. A good story only needs to be 10% true. First winner gets this. Uh, guy kind of event guy, unless you actually have one. I want you to be honest with me, okay? Please. All righty. Here we go. First winner. Uh, Raskill. <laughs> Raskill, are you there? Raskill, you have won this. The Gary Con events guide. Ooh. Congrats. Just make sure he's on. 
Let me make sure he's on. I haven't seen him pop up yet. Let me see it in chat, the chat list. By the way, we got 90 people. Oh, there. there he is. All right, Rascal, you got it, man. I probably have your address, but just whisper it to me again or just say, I, this is where you sent it to me last. It's it's usually in the, in the Postal Service database. I just got to make sure I got to cross-reference it. Last time. Winner. Second winner. And then, everyone, please stay on. Let's raid in the bones. Uh, Brett, Eb here. You get your choice, Brett. Brett deserves it. He's a Tier 3 sub. Deserves the win. Thank you, Brett, for all your friendship there and, and support and hanging out. It was wonderful. I had a great time. Um, he's on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I saw him on. So Plus, he's Tier 3. Actually, he doesn't have to be on to win. So, uh so Brett, let me know what you want, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna raid into little bones now. Thank you. We ran we ran thirty minutes late. I apologize, um, but it was a great show. So no, tomorrow night seven thirty, Narwhal Headhunters Overreach. I'm gonna pull into my lore a bit. Um, um, you know, Lord Mistrine. Lord Mistrine's a badass. Uh, he's published source, but that's all I'll say. So, uh, right, and the Narwhal Headhunter and their initiates, the lower level characters, will return tomorrow for a multi week adventure uh, with some great terrain and some great some great stories. Uh, and uh, see you tomorrow night. We'll have uh, giveaway some troller games tomorrow night at minimum. And then also um, um, our Sunday night gab. And I'm so looking forward to it to interview all these wonderful uh, women, um, you know, Bones, Darling, Myriad, and Minnesota Muse. Uh, with Anna, and we'll see you all Sunday night. Thank you all, and thank you for the wonderful support. Um, and I hope that you uh, have a great, great time wherever you're playing. And see you soon. See you next year at GaryCon as well. All right, Josh. Thanks for filling in for Anna. That was awesome. Thank you so well, much. Yes, anytime. I appreciate it. Anything for Anna. Now, guess what? Guess what Jay does now? He hits the wrong button. <laughs> Chris, I can't go to the game hole. I've, I've, draw, I've, I've pulled too many chits in for the double weekend here. However, I am scheduled to go to ReaperCon Labor Day weekend in, in Texas. Because so, my Reapers was sponsor, and they really, really have asked me to go multiple years. I really got to go sometime. All right, send the raid up. Raid, raid, raid. Raid. Uh, they, give me a sec. Why is it called Game Hall? What's that? Because uh, That's a good question. The, the, the league guy is Alex Kammer. Uh, he, <laughs> his, his gaming spot is called the Game Hall. That's where he would game at. It's, it's his lair. Uh, you didn't know? I, Above the uh, the, uh, the five pizza. four three Italian joint German one. food yeah German see you food. tomorrow night thank you Luke for watching and family for watching thank you all see you tomorrow. Yeah, that's a lot.